First match in the house here, Marone versus Mothman. Itteimashou! Oops, no, I'm not supposed to say this. <laughs> Itteimashou, no, ore wa... Watashi ga yu beki dewa nai desu yo ne. Ma, to liaizu, here we go, this is the first match. Uh, so, Marone versus Mothman. Mothman, very strong testament player. Uh, do you go out to eat a lot to cook? I usually cook when I can because I work from home, so whenever I have the uh, possibility to, I eat from home, yeah, definitely. Anyways, here we go with a Mothman popping that burst and unfortunately gets hit by the Stun Dipper. He is out of burst. They are out of burst, I'm sorry. Here we go with the wall break Mothman in Dire Straits right now, but it's still okay. It's not over till it's over. Nice block from him. Uses the delayed skull, aerial skull, to try to uh, uh, delay his fall down, not get hit by the Stun Dipper. Oh uh, no, got hit by the Stun Dipper. And here we go, the tick, the tick pressure for the opening and the kill for Marone takes the first round. Very nicely done. On to the second round. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, try to go for the Arbiter side in order to punish the... Ah, uh, yeah, the stunnage. But yeah, man, Marone doing a good job of just really just sticking... Oh! Here we go with the wake-up DP. Unfortunately for Mothman, gets hit by the very, very delayed... Uh, the late uh, active frames of the DP. And here we go with the pickup from Marone. Gonna get the wall break. That was pretty good. Here we go with the stun dipper. Nice blocks from uh, Mothman. Forced to pop the burst. And almost got hit again by the Sunday Break Ghost for the Arbiter side. Was afraid of the wake up DP, but it's okay. Still over, not over until it's over. No, oh, and gets hit by the uh, tap overhead. The tap dust from Maron. Maron takes the first round of the first match. I'm sorry, pretty convincingly, not gonna lie. But it's definitely not over till it's over. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the stun edge again, man. Maron doing a very good job of just zoning out of his life right now, man. Very nicely done. Let me change real quick. Uh, there we go. Yes, this is uh, better here. Okay, we're good. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure from Marone. He wants Mothman in the corner. Gets it by his 6 speed though. Counter it, by the way. Oh, here we go. Oh, Mothman get... Oh, nice grab from Mothman. Not afraid. Goes for the take pressure and the freaking tap dust into Nostrovia. Here we go. Boom, you gonna get cursed, brah. What is going to be the O-key? We do not know. Here we go with the save jump. Goes for the low against the opening. And goes for the Arbiter. Oh, no. Oh, nice decision from Maron not to uh, do um, not to do um, an IAD right there. He would have gotten hit by the 6P. And Mothman trying to seal the deal. Does it with the 6P. Very nicely done. Takes the first round of the second match. Let me check the bracket real quick until I see uh, whether or not other people are going to... Uh, yeah, it's fine. Everybody's just waiting now. Yes, they are. Okay, everything is fine. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, here we go again, man. Mothman was hit with their, uh, they're back to the, ah, uh, they're back to the freaking, oh no, gets hit by the jumping HS. You hate to see it. Here we go, the tap does, unfortunately, for Mothman, but still too late for the punish by Marone. He must be so angry about this. Nice TP from Mothman, though. I tried to go for the Arbiter, but man, yeah, the zoning game of Marone is a little bit too quick for him to be able to, for them to be able to pop the Arbiter right there. Oh, Lord, and that pickup. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? No, that was the wrong one, but it's still okay. Oh, no, it's not okay. And this should do. Oh, okay, here we go. Save by the burst, bro. Little Karasuchiam, no, it's okay. Mothman with the kill, thanks to the IAD, puts one on the board, one to one. Let's see how this pans out. Very nicely done by Mothman, nice comeback. He almost let that first round, that second uh, uh, round slip, but it's still fine, it's fine. And he was, oh, a little bit too late for the uh, TP. Okay, here we go with the Sun Dipper from Marone, man. Look at the freaking zoning game of that man, bro. Oh, uh, no, no, you cannot, you cannot do anything. Okay, very nice TP. Mothman trying to close the distance. Gets hit by the 6P. Almost got the juggle. Nice take right there from Mothman. Nice blocks as well. Ah, gets hit by the 6P yet again. And we got the juggle state. Mothman probably gonna keep... Yeah, definitely keeping his burst for the next round. Probably gonna die right there. Yes, they did. But it's still okay. Not over till it's over. They have their burst. They have their... Uh, their beautiful testament. This is all the reason to win this uh, this round. Nice block right there from Mothman. Didn't commit to any aerial attack, and thankfully so. Nice TP. Wow, to go through the stunnage. Okay, let's see what he can do. Okay, Kara stun is here. No, he got it. This is so unfortunate for him. He had the he had the he had the curse stage. And okay, Maron probably gonna do a, a stun dipper. Stun dipper. No stun dipper. Okay, okay. 
Stand the pa or not. Oh, Lord. Nice. Why are you see? What is gonna happen? Oh, good Lord. Yo, Marisa, how you doing? Oh, no, and the stun. The, no, the freaking take pressure from Marone, and he's able to seal the deal. Takes the second match. Pretty, pretty convincingly as well, but it's fine. It's fine. Muffman already got one match, so it's definitely possible for him to get another one. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, anyways, here we go with the uh, third match of this. Uh, the fourth match, actually. Nice XP again, man. You cannot jump on Marone. It's crazy. And the little Karasu trying to make his way towards Kai, but no. No, Kai won't let himself get hit by them. Nice Arbiter right there from off. Uh, almost got through, but there was a 6P waiting for him anyways. But, oh, still. Mothman uh, trying, yeah, really, really struggling to get the hit in. And here we go to take pressure from around, gets the hit. Uh, with the Dark Knight Claw. Oh, you hate to see this. What are you going to do? And the Stun Dipper for the opening. Mothman popping the burst. Wanting to, oh, to believe. Nice, oh, nice TP that caught, that definitely caught Maroon off guard. Get the stun edge, the stun dipper, I'm sorry. And this should do, yes, it does. One more round, this is set point. Let's see if uh, Maroon can seal the deer or if uh, Mothman is going to send them into the loser's bracket. We shall see. And again with the zoning game, man, Mothman definitely struggling his life there. Almost got hit by the 6P again and still got hit by the 6P. This is so unfortunate. Here we go the Sun Edge, the Sun Depram, sorry. And here we go again with the pressure, man. The relentless pressure from Maron. And not enough to kill. Ah, stun the Purr, stun the Purr, stun the Purr. No stun the Purr, just a close, close as for the kill. And just like this, Maron. I'm really looking forward to this match, man. This is gonna be hella freaking hype. Let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie, so JB versus Kome Kome. So, Jacko versus Asuka. I have no idea how this play, this match uh, like turns out. Who has like the advantage in it, but we shall see sooner rather than later. Anyway, there we go with Kome Kome gets the explosion. Almost got the juggle thanks to the wall, uh, the wall bounce. Does a good freaking job of like completely neutralizing the, the, the minion game from JB, 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 JB already in the corner. What is gonna happen? Ah, very nice use of the 6P to kill the... Oh, the minions! JB found the way in. Oh, Lord! And he jumped over the... Yeah. Oh, he almost got the punish also. That was so unfortunate. But it's still okay. Nice uh, attempt to challenge right there from Kome Kome. Got rid of one of the minions again. Here we go with the jump in. Goes for the tap dust. Very nice delayed burst right there from Kome Kome. Got out of pressure's way. And what is he gonna do right now? Yeah. Oh, no. Too far for the tap dust, but it's still okay. Not over till it's over. Oh, the oh lord, he almost got the final juggle, but it's still fine. Oh no, no, he got, no, he had the correct thing. He, uh, the JB had the exact correct, oh, and that freaking challenge right there, that jab right in the pressure of Kome Kome and JB manages to take the first round in a very, very hype manner, man. Both were really down on life, but JB managed to prevail. Okay, let's see how, how Kome Kome is gonna bring the adjustments right there. Almost got the juggle though. Jacko's pressure stuns obnoxious. Oh man. Oh man. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Oh, he got the overhead. Almost got the juggle. Goes for the grab. Kaboom. Eat my bow, sir. Anyways, here we go. The corner pressure from Kome Kome, man. This guy is a Asuka monster. This dude has very, very consistent results in tournaments. I'm really looking forward to what he's going to bring to the table. Goes for the tab dust, man. How are you supposed to not get hit by this? Kaboom. Goes for the super. Boom. Get out of here. The overdrive. My bad. Very nicely done by Kome Kome gets the second round. Very, very convincingly, by the way. And here we go with the start of the round. Eat my cubicle, bro. Eat it, eat it. I'm gonna bring you. Oh, Lord. And here we go in the corner. I still have yet to really <laughs> memorize every single name of this of the of the attacks of Asuka. You shall please, uh, please, <laughs> please, I beg your pardon. Uh, but I'm going to try my best to remember them. Anyway, here we go with uh, the overdrive. Is it gonna kill? It's not. Shy of killing right there, but it's still fine. Kome Kome with a huge life lead. What is he gonna do? Did an aerial explosion right there. Nice blocks by JB, by the way. Probably wanted to, um, he definitely wanted to bait the, uh, uh, bait the, uh, the, the grab attempt. And there we go with the Q for the kill. Very nicely done by Kome Kome. Takes the first match very convincingly, man. Had a kind of a shaky start during the first match, but definitely brought the necessary adjustments in order to seal the deal and takes it. Anyways, it is not over till it's over. Let's see if JB can bring some sort of adjustment to the table. And as of now, Kome Kome trying his best not to get, ooh, not to get hit and tries to win some. 
uh, real estate. And okay, nice ball gets it by the 2D counter. It. Nice air to air right there from Komi Komi to dispatch the uh, Dominion as quickly as possible. Nice use of the three uh, the three cubes as well to uh, exactly do the exact same thing. And that juggle though. Will he go? Yes, he goes straight for the overdrive. Nice, decent damage, all things considered. Definitely not enough to kill though. Here we go. The oh, the empty jump into the... Yep, the Roman cancel. And this should do... Yes, it will. Yes, it does. Thanks to the added damage of the wall break. Very nicely done by Kome Kome. Takes the second the first round of the second match let's see if he can seal the deal okay nice start of the round by jbjb get the opening couldn't get the conversion though no. well he couldn't get anything off of it just a uh standing dust unfortunately for him but it's still okay nice explosion right there still the turn of komi komi look at that pressure though that being said look yeah komi komi still in a pretty nice situation does have a little bit of a of mana left he must be a little bit wary though because if he doesn't have any mana he will not have his protection anymore and will be susceptible to huge amount of damage and this is the absolute worst place he wanted to be in the corner in the corner against jacko no freaking uh, protective barrier magic barrier anymore he needs to hold it okay the barrier is back the mana is back that was an unfortunate oh that was a nice burst <laughs> that was an unfortunate burst Oh, but nice 2D from JB. He's gonna get the side switch. Not enough to get the wall splat. It's still JB's turn. Let's see if he can uh, manage to seal it. Good luck. Okay, here we go with uh, the minion is on the deck. Komi Komi has to. Oh, nice tech from Komi Komi. Are you serious? That was crazy. Wow. Oh, and the aerial earthquake, man. The move that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But it's still fine. Okay, here we go with the super cubicle, if I might say. Oh, and the tap does end. Kome should be able to seal it, and he does. Good luck. Takes the second match as well, man. By the skin of his teeth, man, he was down. Almost all of his health was almost all down, and he still managed to pull off uh, the uh, comeback. Very nicely done by Kome Kome. Let's see if he can keep things up and win with a 3-0. We shall see. That being said, JB is definitely no slouch. Okay, but Asuka uh, has been out for quite some time right now. I do believe that most uh, players have brought some um, counter strategies for his gameplay. Uh, but that being said, he uh, is a pretty tricky character to play against, I'm pretty sure. But we shall see how this pans out. And here we go with the super cubic goal into the overhead sphere. And yeah, Kome Kome just standing by trying to neutralize the... Uh, what's it called the uh, I forgot the name the minions as they come unfortunately here we go the minion did oh lord and the overdrive this is gonna be a punish yeah very nicely done by Kome Kome punish oh and again with the sphere the overhead sphere for the kill and just like this we are on set point is JB gonna be able to bring it back we shall see here we go with the cubes and in the corner already and you can see man Kome Kome already has yeah, oh, he had the corner positioning, but yeah, probably no options to really keep the uh, pressure going on. Let's see how he is going to play. Here we go, the super cubic, the electrifying cubicle. Yeah, Kome Kome is here, man. Exactly, exactly, that's it. That's it, yeah. Because uh, on Sunday, you have a very, very big tournament, online tournament in Japan every Sundays. And uh, you have, like, most of the very big uh, tournament players who uh, participate to it. And Kome Kome won uh, probably the most recent one and a couple of them before that as well. So extremely strong Asuka player. Probably the best Asuka in Japan currently. I'm pretty sure it is the case. Uh, and here we go again with the Aerial Earthquake. The move that makes no sense. Here we go with the Overhead Sphere. And Kome Kome just content to just take a step back and try to gather his mana. Gets the juggle. Oh, went for the explosion. Good lord. Look at all them freaking... Oh, and he's got the opening. It's not going to be enough to kill. He might have... No! Oh, he goes for the quick dust. And the overdrive for the kill. Good lord. And Kome Kome takes it a clean three to nail. Good. Versus Bra. <laughs> Very strong resp uh, players all... Uh, here we go. L'Ancien Ghost. I can mentally control your stream for free. Exactly. Anyways, definitely looking forward to this match as well. Roy... Uh, sponsored by Ibushigi and a uh, Japanese, uh, well, uh, I, I suppose a uh, Japanese sponsoring team for FGC Games. And a uh, very strong Roy at that. He has managed to make top 8s in a lot of various different, uh, uh, in various different uh, tournaments in Japan. 
definitely looking forward and also a very prominent streamer at that so definitely looking forward to uh see what is uh going to be the deal global competed with asuka against other top uh gg dual uh online champs like daru Chirati. oh that's cool that's cool but uh then again i don't see well then again yeah gobo doesn't really participate to uh, online tournaments he does do, do like uh uh, he does do he does play against other very big champions, but he doesn't really participate to online tournaments, if I might say, unless there is like a winning pot or whatnot. But he has a tendency to only like do uh, first to thirties or whatnot, you know, long sets against other big players. So I, I can't really say for sure, but I do know that Kumi Kumi is definitely uh, well up there, you know, probably together with Gobo. This is without the shadow of a doubt, but I'm pretty sure. Go yeah, it might it might be pretty um, pretty close if you pin one against the other. But anyways. IBX and here we go with the empty, uh, the, 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 what's called, the uh, empty jump into the grab. And yeah, you can see that freaking pressure, man, from Roy not giving a single second for Bro to, to breathe, man. See how this pans out. Ooh, no entire right there for the, oh, very nice with punish. Though. Gets hit by the 2D, though. And here we go with the grab. And Bro, man, with that pressure, wants to get the grab again. He definitely needs this one if he wants to bring it back. And here we go with the DP. Hail Mary DP and gets hit by the closest. Very nice first match by Roy. Takes it pretty convincingly, not gonna lie. There was a, a small possibility for, um, for Bro to actually make the comeback. He was on the verge of doing it, but yeah, Roy just held its wits, just... Just let the freaking DP rip and was able to get the momentum back. Very nice use of the 2D right there. Gets hit by the DP from Roy though. Here we go with the close pressure right there from Roy. Uh, thankfully, Bro was able to bring it back. Gets the OTG and the closest counter hit. Gunflame, no Gunflame. The 2S for the opening. Oh, goes for the DP, man. The close. Oh, I think it's gonna hit. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait, wait. I think he... Yeah. Oh, no. He got hit right on his freaking attempt of RCing. Why? What happened? Bro, he knew that it was coming out. That's so strange. Unfortunate for Bro. Oh, nice bait right there on the DP. Yeah, Roy has a very big ten tendency of like letting the DP rip very often. They so need to look out for it. Oh, nice far HS right there from Bro. Managed to actually hit the uh, the uh, bended uh, the bended revolver. Here we go with the illusion driver. Very nicely done, bro. Brings it back with a perfect, nevertheless. Okay, definitely not out of this. Let's see if he will, if he manages to seal the deal or not. Okay, gets the opening with the minions. Hits, bro, out. Uh, hits Roy out of the air. Gets the OTG. Look at the damage. Yeah, he's afraid of the DP from Roy. You can see. You can see. Ah, DP. No DP. <laughs> oh, that grab though. That cheeky grab. Oh, and he goes for the instant over the fuzzy man. The fuzzy and this should be enough to kill Brahman with them setups and the wall break for the kill. Very nicely done by Bra takes the second match. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go grab a cup of water. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, thanks for the wait. Ah, and Roy is currently, man, just hitting bro with that freaking, uh, the, how do you call it, the, um, the vortex into the tyrant ray for the hard knockdown. What is going to be the OK? And again, man, and you, yeah. Oh, no, this time around, Roy probably committed to a grab, I suppose. Yeah, you can see bro wanting to take a little bit of a distance. Goes for the YRC, goes for the low. Oh, and then gets hit by the raw DP, man. You hate to see, and this should do, yeah. Very nicely done by Roy, man. The soup, the magic DP of Roy, man. <laughs> Unfortunate for Bro. This is not over till it's over, though. Oh, Lord, and that 2D went in deep, bro. Went in deep and still managed to catch the revolver, man. That was sick. Okay, and here we go with, ah, uh, yeah, bro, trying to play it a little bit more. Oh, I thought Roy was going to wake up with the DP, and he does here. Good Lord. Very nice take pressure right there from bro. Is Roy using modern control? He's using uh, monkey control right now. <laughs> He's playing brainless control, but it's working. <laughs> now, that's just saying Roy absolutely has 
a great timing for using the DP. He really does. He really does. Like Roy is, uh, he knows when you really want to uh, keep pressuring him, and he knows exactly at what timing uh, you are gonna keep pressuring him, and then he's going to uh, let the DP rip if you do it too often. Oh, nice! And the punish on the YRC, bro, bro. <laughs> The punish on the YRC, bro. Holy freaking lord, very nice. Oh, but that was a huge 6 HP, though. Counter it right there. Oh, and that was an unfortunate uh, mistimed uh, tech attempt from Bra, I suppose. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Very nice 6 HP from Bra. Still not wary of the DP. Gotta be careful. Roy loves them. DP gets the freaking Bandit Bringer. Counter it. And here we go with... Oh, yeah, that was... Oh, lord, this, this H is straight into the freaking Elysium Driver. Driver! Okay, bro has a pretty nice life lead. Not gonna lie, he tried to go for the grab, but man, the freaking bar from Roy gets the closest into the 5 HS, and this might be enough to kill. It is. It is. Oh, no, not like this. Not like this, bro. <laughs> Nicely done by Roy, man. Puts another one on the board. Takes the lead, by the way, this time around. Let's see if Brock can manage to bring it back. Yeah, that's the thing with Saul. It's never over till it, you show him that it's over. Ah, nice use of the uh, minion right there. Woo, gonna get a juggle. Roy popped in the burst, waiting for the side switch before doing so. By the way, woo, that low profile with the 2k though. Ooh, ah, that was the forbidden starter. Almost got the vortex in though. That would have been catastrophic for, for Bra. Okay, you can see Bra trying to hit, man. But Roy is being so freaking evasive. So hard to pin down. And here we go, the Bandit Bringer for the wall break. What is going to be the Oki? Oh, here okay, we go, the Akuma Fireball on that 6P, man. <gasps> and the double 6 HS for the kill. Good stuff from Roy. Let's see how this is going to pan out. Nice 2D counter hit. Start from Roy. Wants to get that minion game in. Definitely playing a little bit more conservative. Does not want to get hit by a, a random DP here and there, as Roy absolutely loves doing them. Here we go, the wall break. Nice damage right there from Bra. Roy is on. Ooh, and that freaking OS to catch the bag. That's very nicely done by Bra. Okay, he's not out of this yet. He absolutely needs this round if he wants to send the winner's bracket, though. Let's see if Roy is going to let him. Oh, and the big. Ooh, no, the big 5 HS counter it, though. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ooh, here we go, the 4 HS. He tried to yeah, see if Roy was going to go for a DP yet again. Nice use of the minion. Right now, oh, that was an unfortunate burst. Is he gonna get the juggle? No, he didn't. Oh, but it's still okay. And he gets it with the juggle using the freaking minion. Bro, staying alive. Two to two. Is he gonna send Roy in the loser's bracket? We shall see. Good lord, man. Yeah. That is crazy, man. It is never over till it's over. But nice start of the round by Roar right there. He has Bra exactly where he wants him. Gets the burst. Bait. This is gonna do a ton of damage. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Ah! Ah! Guilty Gear! <laughs> oh! Guilty Gear! <laughs> Roy definitely did not like what happened during the previous map. Okay, let's see if Bra can manage uh, to make another miracle. We shall see. Very nice. Uh, stuff of the uh, the what's called the the bandit revolver. Careful there, nice Abari. And my light is going crazy yet again. It's been a long time, by the way. One second, guys. Okay, here we go. That's better. And very nice wire C. Bro is out of pressure. Blocks the DP. Doesn't doesn't put no. He didn't punish it. Ooh, almost got hit on the way down right there on his grab attempt. We go the wire C from Roy. The Akuma, the Akuma Fireball. Oh, trades with the... Oh, no! Oh, no, not like this. Oh, he drops it. And this... Oh, okay, here we go. The blocks. The 2D to catch the back dash attempt right there from Roy. Oh, hits him with the back, man. The back minion. And we are on the final round of the final set. Let's see who takes it. We shall see. And the DP, man, goes straight right through the minion. And also, whatever... Uh, bro was trying to go with... Ah, this is gonna hurt, man. Look at this. No, that was an unfortunate burst. Okay, here we go with the... the, the no, I guess it by the DP again. Roy going completely ham. Goes... Oh, Lord. And get City. Yeah, this should do. This is gonna do. 
Damn, Roy, the explosiveness of this man sends Bra to the loser's bracket. Not only Yuki, by the way, he's rocking Soul. Good lord. Okay, no problem, Lancien. Thank you very much. It's uh, more than appreciated, bro. Okay, and uh, yes, uh, this time around, Mugi is actually going to stick with Soul this time around. Let's see how this pans out then, uh, because we have uh, usually. Uh, we're used to seeing his Nagori Yuki, not his uh, Salt. So let's see how this pans out. Rocking the yellow Salt, by the way. And very nice start of the round with Mugi. Gets the burst quite early. Still holds on to his uh, his uh, burst. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. He gets the gold burst. This is the absolute best situation he could be in. Oh, Lord. Is he going to get the juggle? Yes, he does. And goes for a mag damage. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Oh, yeah, Guilty Gear. Look at the damage. Are you serious? Saul only tournament infected him. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. I forgot who won it. I think it was... Uh, oh, it was probably... um, Was it Mochi who won it? I, I forgot who won it. But yeah, he, he actually made top 8, so... Yeah, good thing for Mugi, man. He uh, definitely has a good salt. Definitely not sleeping on it. So let's see how this pans out. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer. Gets the uh, 2K2D. Ah, working on trying to open Yamashita, but Yamashita with the brave 6P right there stuffs the uh, 4S attempt. Ah, oh, gets hit by the revolver though. Ah, yeah. Oh no, he dropped it. But, ooh, Yamashita finally pops into the burst. It's about time. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Almost got the opening. Ah, okay. Makes his save with the RC. Oh, that air to air, man. And a wake up DP for Amugi, man. Not afraid. Ooh! And almost jumped over the gun flame, but unfortunately landed right on top of the flames. First match goes to Mugi. Very nicely done by Mugi. Probably rocking Saul as a sub in order to like take care of problematic matchups, I suppose. Uh, that being said, here we go with the trade. Both opponents still have their birth. Wow, that bag that's right on the far as though. That was scary. Oh, you okay, managed to have the overhead though, but ooh, here we go. Ooh, Lord, a little bit too far for the 6S. Get back to neutral. Very nice opening from Mugi. Gets the knockdown. Oh, no anti right there. Wow, Yamashita using the uh, RC to actually get the side switch. Uh, forces Mugi to stay in the corner using the burst. Unfortunately, for him. Gets landed on by the bandit bringer, man. Ooh, try to go for the grab. No one home. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Mugi trying to maneuver out of the corner, but yeah, has a little bit of a hard time doing so. Gets landed on by Yamashita immediately pops the burst. Yeah, both but oh lord, that was a big forest counter. It almost got the juggle. Didn't believe in it though. Very nice 6P from Mugi manages to get the kill with the 6HS. Uh, OTG very nicely done. He has the first round of the second match. See if Mugi can seal the deal. Wow, and the wild throw. Look at the damage. Here we go, the bandits. Again with the closest man, you have to hold it. Oh, get the brave six spirit there again from Yamasta. Oh, yes, opened up with this two, two HS. Okay, nice delays right there from Yamasta. Catches Mugi trying to uh, to short dash right in front of them. Oh, here we go, the jump in. Ooh, too far to get the first hit of the Rekka to connect. Yeah, now Yamashita trying to... Ooh, gets the opening, almost got the juggle now! Ah, and Mugi with the freaking wires, he gets out of the corner! Ooh, that was a badly timed melee right there from Yamashita. Uh, from, uh, from Mugi. Gets grabbed by Yamashita on his way up. Ooh, careful there, no YRC. Oh, and the late DP, man, finds the opening and no burst for you and this should be it. Yes, it is, bye-bye. Good stuff from Mugi. He has the second match as well. Definitely showing his prowess with Saul right there. Definitely not. No slouch here. Very nicely done by Mugi. Let's see how this turns out. And on to the next battle. Let me check the brackets real quick, guys. And yes. Where's Gilgamesh? Oh, Gilgamesh didn't. Uh, yeah, he probably didn't uh, check in. I think he did it. Yeah, he didn't check in. Okay, okay. All good. Anyways, here we go with the red cap from Yamashita finally getting something going on. Got rid of the burst of their opponent. And uh, man, Mugi not afraid to just run straight toward his opponent. Good 4S. Trying to find something. Nice 4S punish right there from Mugi. Ooh, almost got jumped on. Ah, Yamashita didn't believe in it. Oh, and the DP yet again by Mugi, man. We go with the juggle and wow, the corner damage. Oh, we'll try to go for the wild throw. A nice six spear right there. From he gets the juggle in the corner carry. 
Oh, wow, you tried to go for Vortex. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. And they should do, yeah. Goes for the RC extension, for the juggle, and the wall break. Saved by the burst. I don't know if I agree with it, though. Woo! That was a fortunate trade for Moogie, man. He was on the verge of getting, uh, of getting, um, uh, come back on. That being said, nice start of the round from Moogie. No 6P right there. But he gets the gold burst. Oh, this is perfect for him. Goes for the uh, high low, high low mix up. Oh! Okay, nice jump out of the corner from Yamashita. Trying to find the opening. No entire. Ooh, ah, that forest counter though. Ooh. Here we go with the Fafnir and the wild throw for the kill. Yes, it is. Good stuff from Mugi. Takes it a clean 3 to nil. Sends Yamashita in right away. Ah, perfect. We still have one more match uh, before we reach the semifinals. And this is... Uh, yeah. And here we go. <laughs> here we go. That's all I have to say. Anyways, here we go. The start of the round. Ooh, Ito trying to go for a jump in. But Caffeine Man was on point on it. Immediately 6 feet him out of it. Wow, nice air grab right there from Ito. Thought that the jumping it, it angle made it so that he probably wasn't going to be able to 6 feet her. Very nice use of the RC to get the extension and the positive bonus, as well as the wall break. Okay, here we go. No 6P right there. And here we go. The wake up DP from Ito, not afraid. Goes for the command grab right after the RC, man. This is so tricky to react upon. Good stuff from Ito gets the first round. And on to the second round. We shall see. Okay, nice jump in right there from... Run, bro. Gets opened by the uh, Sukiyaki, though. Here we go. The tick pressure. No grabs. Okay. Here we go. Stand. HS. Eto with the empty grab, man. He's got the corner positioning. Goes for the Gamma Blade. Oh, gets the overhead. Should be able to get the... Oh, and he made it. In. That was entirely... Yeah, that was entirely what he was looking for. Good stuff from Ito. Holy freaking look. Oh, and the DP right on the RC, man. Ito knows no fear, bro. Good stuff from Ito gets the uh, first match pretty convincingly, not gonna lie. Let's see if he can manage to keep it going. We shall see how this pans out. Okay, no enter right there, unfortunately. Oh, here we go, the air to our from our. Ah, oh, Captain base the DP. Forces it to pop the burst. Nice 2D right there. Went in freaking deep, by the way. And again with the juggle. This is going to do a lot of damage. It got it to in the corner. The minions are here. Nice standing key, man. That was really nicely done. Goes for the overhead again. Forces Caffeine to pop the burst. Almost got the whiff punish. And gets the far S counter hit. Goes for the overhead again. This time around, Caffeine aware of it. Goes for a delayed uh, Roman, uh, a delayed uh, blue RC, man. Huh? Ooh, okay. Here we go with the Sukiyaki. Ah, no one there from Caffeine gets it by the DP once again. Eto, man. Oh, goes for the command grab. This should be enough. Yeah, it should be enough. Very nicely done by Eto. Gets the kill. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next path. Whew. Ah, nice DP right there from Eto. Ah, I got the corner positioning. Goes for the Gamma Blade. Ah, Caffeine Man not letting him go. He's gonna get the, yeah, the wall combo. Goes for the reset or the corner carry. Eto going for them very unusual, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, chip setups right there. Setups I've never really seen before. And the DP once again, man. Eto not afraid. I could have went for the uh, RC extension for the kill twice in a row, but it's still okay. He still got the kill. Good stuff from Ito taking the lead, actually. 2-0. to zero. Pretty hefty one at that. Caffeine definitely looking a little bit lost right now. Doesn't really know what to do right now, but uh, we shall see. It's okay. It's fine. Ah, nice 6 right there from Caffeine. Probably starting to get wary of that DP, though. Okay, that was very nicely done by Ah Caffeine managed to force it to spot the burst. Okay, what is gonna be Oh wow that was punished though? Oh and the DP man! 
caffeine baiting the DP and go straight into the overdrive. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Good lord. Not gonna kill by any means. Okay, it's a force pop the 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 the, the wire seat. Goes for the bonsai. Okay, back in the corner for caffeine, but they do have a lot of minions right there to try to prevent Ito from trying to open them up and gets the kill with the 2k. Very nicely done. Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Caffeine taking that mask off. Here we go, the blocks. Ito getting open. Having to respect that, uh, that big, big, yeah, that big pressure, man. Oh no! Try to go for the grab! Hey, okay, so first pop the burst, or he would have lost that match. And the close is to catch the back dash attempt. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Take his their first match. Finally puts one on the board. Let's see if they can manage to make a comeback. The close pressure gets the Suki and the wall bounce. Very nice tick throw right there from it. So goes for the Gamma Blade to make it safe. Almost got the wall break there, but forced Caffeine to pop the burst. Wow, Caffeine baiting that DP, man. That wake up DP with the the guard point. And base the YRC, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Double standing HS into the overdrive. Here we go to safe jump. No entire right there on the two, jumping to uh, 2k. Nice air to air from it, oh man. Ooh, almost ate a 2k right there. And get the opening with the delay to, to uh, 2s into the 2hs. This should be able to kill and it will. Finally. Ito on match point. What is Caffeine gonna do? Ito going very, very deep right there trying to catch Caffeine. Yeah, ca Caffeine's back dashes. And here we go, yeah. Ito in very dire straits right there. About to get, yeah, this, oh, good lord. Wow, Ito, man, running from one side of the corner to the other, managed. Oh, no, Daddy B. That's unfortunate for you. But Ito deciding to keep their burst for the next round. And look at that. Caffeine actually has no burst this time around. If they get open, it's going to spell trouble for them. That being said, you can definitely see that Caffeine is starting to get a catch on the DP's attempts uh, from Eto and reacting. Oh, that! Oh, that was an OS to catch the Bagdash. That was sick. Good stuff from Eto, man. Definitely labbing here, you can tell. Ooh, and get the tank attempt from Caffeine. This is going to do a lot of damage. Go straight into the Ototoy combo. Very nicely done by Eto. Only one mix away from killing. And here we go with, oh, again, man, goes for that. Oh, the overhead and then the low for the kill. Eto sends Caffeine and the Mato. Both uh, experts with their own respective characters. Let's we'll see how this turns out. So Amato does have a, a very tight ties with uh, none other than uh, uh, this one second, guys. Okay, that came in late. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's could be fine. I could put. Oh yeah, good stuff. Anyways, yeah, I was saying that Amato uh, is a very tight to, uh, with Leo, who is uh, probably the best, uh, one of the best. I'm not gonna say the best Faust player in Japan because you have a you have a heck ton of very strong uh, Faust player in Japan. You have so of course you have Leo, you have Nage, you have uh, uh, RF, uh, you have uh, well Amato as well. Not he's not as well known as the three others, but. Yeah, you have so many very strong uh, Faust players in Japan. It's really hard to define who is currently the best Faust player in Japan. But uh, probably result-wise, I suppose that Leo would be the prime contender. Even though he tends to lose like uh, uh, matches and uh, sets against uh, Nage, I feel like Leo might have the best representation, I guess. Yo, how are you doing, analyst? Welcome back. Mochi-san gone, uh, gone into the time capsule to train for evil. As he should, bro, as he should. Definitely one prime contender of taking said Evo, so yeah. I'm he's going to the to the uh, Las Vegas Evo, right? In which case, this is going to be awesome. Really looking forward to uh, 
to his uh, performance round. One of my favorite players in the world! <clears throat> yeah, this is really great news. This is uh, one heck of a nice news. Thank you very much for the follow, Origami-san, and welcome to the Brojo's. Oh, getting on with the freaking 2 HS counter that did a lot of damage. Takari and Kurt. Ooh, and that whiff punish using the world. Is it gonna be enough? No, it's not. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, okay. He, uh, Amato did have an additional, uh, what's it called, uh, RC bar in order to make it safe. He's gonna get the kill with the mix, mix, mix. Goes for the extension using. Oh, no, not enough to kill. Yes, he does. He killed with the OTG. Very nicely done, and first freaking match goes to Amato, actually. I am very, very, very surprised, but in a good way. Damn, th th that went so quick, by the way. Good stuff from Amato, manages to take the first hit, the first round, the first match, actually. So let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, what was that, that side switch from Amato? Probably not uh, what he was searching for. Ooh, ah, gets hit by the rainwater, though. But still, okay, still had the burst in order to make it safe, gets the juggle, using the, oh, the dive. Got the cavalry to keep the pressure going on. Try to bait the burst. Goes for that sick freaking command grab. Uh, the setup, man, that was sick. Oh, look, what was that? Which side are you on, bro? Very nice. Oh, no, he didn't believe in it. Thought that uh, Takani was going to pop the burst. Takani is definitely never going to pop the burst with uh, a second, uh, another, with the second round. And uh, with that, uh, that few health of his right there. That's unfortunate for Amato. But it's still okay, he did get the kill any, uh, regardless, but it's still fine, it's still fine. Anyways, here we go, Little Foul's gonna... Ooh! Almost saved, did save their uh, their fall, their data. That was a very, very fortunate th th thing for Amato. Oh no, that was an unfortunate throw attempt from Takarin. Managed to uh, block the uh, Mix 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 in time and get the adequate punish as well. Look at the... Ooh, the Axel Bomber, boom! What? How did that 6p not hit? What the hell is that? Poor 6p, man. Damn, that's unfortunate. Anyway, there you go. Well, Amato still not out of this yet. Does have a pretty nice lead for now. If he wins this one, he's definitely going to get a very nice lead. There you go, Eddie. Uh, command grab. He's got the Afro. Afro Takarin. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Using the Axel Bomber to get out of harm's way. Pops that golden burst, man. Ooh, that freaking reaction station on the freaking teleport, man. That was sick from Takarin. Very nicely done. Good lord. Okay, and a little bit too far to get the 2S uh, entire. He does get the command grab. We'll get the lord. The lord. The world. Oh, goes for the world. Amato blocks in time. Let's see how this spins out. And um, uh, Takarin just hitting uh, hammers left and right. Does have a pretty nice uh, life lead. Not gonna lie. Oh, that cool assessment. That could have been the start of everything. He went for the golden burst. Betting that uh, that Takarin was gonna press a button at that particular time. But Takarin, man, just holding on. Holding on to that block button. And just waiting for the, uh, the gold burst to come out. To, in order to punish adequately and get that second match. Very nicely done by Takarin. Good little wow that far as though. Here we go with the spear. Takani managing to get the uh, command grab. Very nice dive right there from Amato. Almost got the juggle. Oh lord, but Takani man on point with them freaking TP's attempts, man. Okay, ooh, Amato going for that side switch. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, gets the close S. Didn't believe in it though. Goes for another close S. Enough to get the kill now. Try to go for the instant overhead and still gets the kill thanks to the uh, lockdown of the uh, the fire of the wig into additional uh, pressure. Very nicely done. Wow, and Amato just getting items just right there, just right in front of Takarin, man. Put no entire there. Takarin with the delayed snail manages to catch Amato trying to jump forward to to uh, dash forward. Here we go. Yeah, man. Takarin still with the wig, but not giving any opportunity for Amato to light that wig up, man. And gets the kill with the close S. Very nicely done by Takari. Let's see how this pans out. And on to potentially... Oh no, that was unfortunate for Amato. Wow, Amato almost got the punish right there on the fake uh, cross-up. Kill the, time, the turn of Takari. Get the 2S counter hit. You gonna do a lot of damage. Ah, kaboom! Not the world! Ah, it goes for the world to make his 
Uh, Rainwater safe. This is Snail, Snail safe and gets the kill with the follow up. Good stuff from Tagani. Takes the lead 2 to 1. Definitely looked like the first part of this uh, current set was all in favor of Amato, but man, you can see the prowess. The prowess of Takani bringing it back, man. Okay, and here we go again with Takari preventing Amato from getting out of the corner. Goes for the Len Sengeki. Wow, almost got the punish right there. Amato too far though. This is unfortunate. And oh wow, too far again. Here we go with Amato gets the opening. Gets the mix, mix, mix to capture back dash attempt. Nice blocks from Amato. Tries to get the whiff punish with the 2S. Gets it by the command grab immediately into the Axel Bomber. Oh, gets the juggle again. Okay, that's cool. Here we go, the Linsengeki. Now the bomb is out. <laughs> and Takarin on point with uh, the punish right there on the, the the teleportation attempt, man. Very nicely done. And here we go. Very nice uh, super there from Amato. Gonna get the cavalry. Forces Takarin to stay on the ground. Ah, uh, Takari, man. Woo, little Faust saved their dad out right there. Here we go with the quick Roman cancel. Wow, and the spear, bro. That was sick. Closest, closest. Ah, Takari getting out of the corner. Gets hit by the low. Here we go with the meteor. And the tab dust for the kill. Amato not out of this, man. It is still set point for Takarin though. Samato definitely needs this one if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. Let's see how this spins out. Nice block for Amato. Gets hit by the forest though. Oh lord, Amato with the golden burst. And little Faust, man. Ooh. Again, man, you can see Takani harassing. Ah, man, this should do. This is gonna do, yeah. Good stuff from Takani and the knowledge, man. Takani takes it a clean 3 to 1, sends off another uh, cup of uh, glass of water. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, and here we go, and actually, Eito managing to... Oh, no, 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 he drops it! This is so unfortunate for him, a little bit too far from the corner in, in order to have it... Uh, in order to have it connect. Oh, very nice experience there from Nugget. Oh, gets the hit, man, with the sweep. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Yeah, you can see, yeah, Nugget protecting them skies. Oh, here we go, almost got the jump in. Eto with the jump into K though. Wakes up the DP. Nugget knowing it. Uh, no entire red there. Gets hit by the tab dust. And this should do. Here we go with the conversion. Station goes straight into the overdrive. For the kill. That was sick. Very nicely done by Nage, man. As expected. Sasuga this. Okay, let's see how this pans out. If uh, dear old Eto is going to be able to manage that storm that is freaking nage man here we go with the gamma blade trying to keep nage in the corner let's see how this turns out okay very nice command grab right there from nage goes for the uh fire on the wig gets the opening goes straight into the od is this gonna kill it probably is because chip has no health and it does, man. First freaking match goes to Nage. Very nicely done. So, what is Ito gonna do, man? Is Chip gonna be able to sustain all of them freaking options and setups and whatnot from none other than one of the best Faust players in the freaking whole world? And here we go with the grab from Nage. Nage gonna go for the save jump. Oh, the empty command grab for the wig. Oh, the wig is not on fire. Okay, very nice gold burst right there from Ito. Goes for the fake low, for the fake overhead and the overhead for the opening. 
Nage finally popping the burst, goes for the mix, mix, mix. Really wants to put that wig on fire, unfortunately a little bit too late this time around. But does have the um, the juggle with the... Oh, and they should do, yeah. Very nicely done from Nage and the optimization station. Resource to using the overhead uh, H uh, in order to get enough damage in order to get the kill. Well, to get the guaranteed kill, that is. Yeah, here we go, the spear. It will definitely play a little bit more. Ah, oh, Lord! No, 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 no. You do not jump on this man. Good stuff from Nage. Gets the wall break and a very nice amount of damage right there. Goes for the closest. Gets hit by the 6 speed counter hit. And using the invincibility frames of the startup of the overdrive. Roman cancel in order to punish whatever uh, Ito was trying to do right there. As an Oki. Nice jump in from Ito. Finally finds an opening. Gonna get the juggle and the wall break. Yeah, probably wants to uh, waste as much time as possible to get rid of the wig. Yeah, okay, nice stuff from... Ah, Eto, but gets it by the command grab. This should do. And here we go with the juggle for the kill. Nage takes the second match as well. Nage on a freaking speed run right now. Good lord, ah, this man. So, such a good Faust player. It's so great. Anyways, on to the next battle. Let's see how this turns out. Oh lord! Okay, oh, and here we go. The tick pressure, close pressure from Naga gets hit by the 6P of Ito. Forced to pop the burst, goes for the spear. And again, Ito with the DP in the pressure. And again, man, holy freaking lord! Ito loves them uh, command grabs. A nice grab from Naga gets the side switch, gets the close S. Finally forces Ito to pop the burst. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord. Nice standing. Okay, he's gonna get the kill with the juggle. Well, the RC extension. Oh, and he does! That was sick! Resorting to use the jabs to make sure that he gets the wall splat and the kill. That was really sick. Good stuff from Nage right there. Nice knowledge. And again, man, with the 6P, it has definitely been consistent with them. Let's see how this spins out. Wow, gets hit by the, 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 the dive kick yet again. Let's see what Nage is gonna do. Ah, Lord, everything and their mother is currently pinning Ito in the corner. <laughs> nice, closest uh, juggle right there from Nage. Gonna get the, yeah, overdrive. To have a guaranteed hard knockdown. And added damage. Good Lord. Get out of here. So what is Ito gonna do? Wake up DP? Oh, okay. There you go. Back dash, Roman cancel into front. Pressure and Nage with the DP bait. Just like this, Nabe since Nabe. Nabe <laughs> Let me check real quick one stuff, please. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That, no. I just want to check the name of the person that I'm referring and I still cannot. I still don't remember exactly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Takashi san. Here you go. My bad, my bad. Yeah, Takashi san. Uh, uh, Hatake-san, I'm sorry, not Hatake-san. Hatake-san. Uh, so the um, the TO from the uh, online tournament on Sunday in Japan, his name is Hatake-san, and uh, he hosts a tournament on um, on uh, on Sunday, and it's uh, Yofukashi, Yofukashi, I forget how it's uh, called exactly, but very, very big tournament in Japan, lots of pro players participate to it, and Komekome actually managed to win it with his actual, his current Asuka, so very strong one. Uh, let's see how he fares against Takarin. Takarin with the tab dusts. Ah, uh, goes for the delayed overhead. Thank you very much for the follow up shield and a welcome for, uh, to the bro drill. And here we go with the corner pressure. Takarin some with the Lens Sengeki. Trying to keep Komi Komi in the corner, but Komi Komi making his way ever so slightly out of it. Look at the juggle though. Look at the juggle. Very nice air to air right there from Komi Komi. Goes for the overhead, uh, the overhead sphere. Gets the juggle! Woo! Ah! Yeah, no way to punish that uh, rainwater as it was. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, nice air to air. Kome Kome again tried to go for the overhead. Wow, okay. Kome Kome using the overdrive to uh, force Takarin to block. Ah, yeah, and this should do. Very nice. Oh no, he dropped it! 
Wait, Takarin just needs a couple of minutes, uh, seconds left in order, and gets the hit with the rainwater. Very nicely done by Takarin, man. That was only like six seconds on the clock. That would have been actually the very first time, um, time over uh, in the Rugo Cup. That would have been pretty funny. Anyways, here we go with the take pressure from Kome Kome, trying to find the opening against Takarin. Uses his explosion to pin him down. Nice backdash right there on the triangular uh, card. And here we go, the blocks from Kome Kome. Nice block on the overhead. Gets opened though by Takarin. Takarin went, oh, gets stopped by the jump in from Kome Kome. And here we go with, oh, Lord, look at so many stuff on the corner. On the screen, what is going on? Look at this, when is he supposed to press a button? Careful there, he has the uh, overhead sphere. Okay, back to the neutral. You can, you know that Kome Kome wants to have the overhead sphere right there. Probably Takari noticed that, ah, but well, he doesn't have any mana now. This is actually very bad for him. Yo, oh, nice blocks right there on, on the take through. Oh! Takari man tried to, oh, and that back dash on the overhead sphere. That was sick. Takarin with the clutch right there, man. Takes the first match one to zero. What is Kome Kome gonna do? Ah, okay. unfortunately ah, gets hit by the overhead. Let's see how this spins out. Nice air to air. Ah, gets opened up by the 2D. Ooh, that was very, 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 very dangerous for Kome Kome. Gets the freaking. Oh, Lord. The aerial earthquake. <laughs> the nonsensical move of this game. A hit that if you, uh, even if you're in the air and you launch it, it hits low. <laughs> it's actually pretty uh, tricky. Anyways, here we go with the 2k to the MT uh, jump by Takarin. Tries to bait that tech attempt. And goes for the overhead, man. The, uh, I'm sorry, the dust, the tab dust. I couldn't even take him the lead right now. One, uh, one match, one round. Very nice instant block right there from just block from uh, from Takari. Yeah, Miko finds the jump in. Wants to pin Takari down. Lord, oh, okay. And here we go with the explosion. Too far to get any uh, juggle off of it though. Nah, they left Ariel Lowe's back in Blaze Blue Law in the air. Okay, okay. Oh, it does? Are you sure? You sure? I'm. Uh, last time that I played him, I'm pretty sure last time I played him, I I had the impression that if you do this attack in the air, it does hit low. But, uh, but you're you're probably more uh, knowledgeable than me on the matter. I haven't been, like, uh, labbing Asuka ever since, so... But I was pretty sure it hit low, though. But yeah, but anyways, if, if you say so, I believe you. Then he has the aerial earthquake. Does not hit low anymore, apparently. Which would uh, make sense, if you ask me. But anyways, that being said, here we go with the tab dust right there from Kome Kome. Gets the juggle. They should be able to kill. Kome Kome back on track. Very nicely done. A very quick round this time around, by the way. Let's see uh, how Kome Kome is going to... Uh, to manage very nice use of the 2D, which is a projectile, by the way. Reaches hella far. 100% you say, oh, okay, perfect. I trust you, Anna. No problem. Thanks, man. Thanks for uh, fact checking. If you guys, uh, this is a general announcement. If you guys notice that I say something that is non factual or even some dumb stuff, please do not hesitate to fact check me. I absolutely, I absolutely need it. <laughs> oh, Lord, and look at Kome Kome, man, with the wall splat into the overdrive and the kill. Good Lord, very nicely done by. Kome Kome recruits one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Very nicely done by Kome Kome. Damn, I take my eyes off of the of the of the battle like two seconds and somebody's already dead. <laughs> Good stuff from Kome Kome. Anyways, let's see if Takanin can manage to uh, get the momentum back. Goes for the fake cross up. A very non-committed non-committed uh, jump from Kome Kome made it so that he didn't get hit by the 2S. And here we go with Dylan Sengeki. Oh, he even gets the juggle. Goes for the fake cross up again. Gets hit by the 2HS counter hit. And this is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill by any means. Oh, gets the juggle, man. And you can see, you can see the backdash of, uh, of, um, of Takarin during that specific setup to get the perfect uh, juggle timing. Uh, right after his, um, uh, his Axel Bomber. That was a genius from him. 
very very hard labber uh Takanin is so yeah that is uh that is uh entirely expected of him <laughs> as expected of him anyways here we go to jump in from Takanin gets the open the, the uh the opening yeah that being said Kome Kome does not have a lot of mana left yeah he needs to be a little bit careful oh I tried to get the jump in that being said yeah Takanin trying to ooh, keep his distance He's in the corner though, this is the place that you do not want to be against Asuka. Very nice air to air. From Komi Komi uses the... Wow! The sphere, man, the sphere, the sphere. The overhead sphere, very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, very good, the triangular. Ah, pressure and the juggle with the cubes, that was sick! Good stuff from Komi Komi, not out of this yet. Okay, let's see how this pans out. The close stick pressure from Komi Komi. Forced to, yeah, block that pressure. And the Len Sengeki, man. Kome Kome using... Ah, trying to, yeah, to build his deck while Takarin is busy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He actually blocked it the uh, high this time around. Yeah, you were right. You were entirely right. That's cool, that's cool. Good to know. Very nice grab right there from Kome Kome. And uh, the take pressure is here. Kome Kome does have... Oh lord, he managed to get the aerial earthquake though, then to juggle through it. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see how this spins it out. Oof. Ah man. Yeah, Kome Kome currently in dire strait. Oh he's got his he's got his armor back. Saved by the bell. Okay, what is gonna be uh the decision for Kome Kome to attack? Force to yeah, force to block that Lin Sengeki man. Ah, uh, and Rainwater. Ah, uh, Kome Kome wants that, that hit so desperately, man. He wants it so bad. Ah, uh, no, he tried to draw, he tried to send a cube out. To try to, yeah, oh, of course, the respect very nicely done. Kome Kome still has his burst. Things are looking actually pretty nice for him. Here you go. He's gonna force Takarin to, yeah, to, to block. And here we go with pressure time. You have to hold it. Oh, uh, no, he tried to uh, prevent Takani from, yeah, from jumping out of the corner. Wow, man, Takani, yeah, using the jump back, man. But, yeah, oh, Lord. Oh, and he got the bait on the freaking... Is it going to be enough? No, not enough. Oh, and the time up. This is the first time up. This is the first time up in the Brojo Cup, guys. Good Lord, I've never seen a time up in the, in, in the Brojo Cup before. Very nicely done by Kome Kome. Played the clock. Uh, he didn't even play the clock, but really managed to find the opening right at the end. Seeing that Takarin was gonna go for the keep away game. Damn, that was sick! Damn, you don't see a lot of time ups uh, in, in Guilty Gear Strive in general, but this is actually pretty fun to, to, to see. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure from Kome Kome. I get hit by the standing P by Takarin. Let's see how this is going to play out. Yeah, Takarin, man, trying to pin Kome Kome down, man. And Kome Kome taking the lead, by the way. 2-1. to one. Yeah, but still, it is not as easy as what it seems. Takanin is an extremely strong player. Very, very strong one at that. It's going to be extremely uh, hard for Kome Kome to try to, uh, well, seal the deal. Here we go with the overhead. Gets the juggle, man. And here we go, man, with the wall break. Okay, nice. Uh... Nice challenge right there from Kome Kome. Ah, gets hit by the 2HS counter hit though. And here we go, the Lin Sengeki man. Preventing Kome Kome from, yeah. From uh, gathering his deck. And Takarin probably try. Wow, oh, that air to air was unfortunate for Takarin. Gonna get hit by the overdrive. Damn, look at that man. The optimization station from Kome Kome. Yes, the wall break. Good lord. Goes for the jump in, gets the opening, and the kill. Good stuff from Kome Kome on freaking set point again. None other than Takani. This is crazy, man. Takani, man, fighting for his uh, winner's side place right now. Really trying to make the best of it. Try uh, okay, trying to get, play the keep away game, but man, Konsume is really doing a good job of like uh, maneuvering around the Lin Sengeki. Tried to go for the 2D, but unfortunately, uh, Takarin's 2HS was a little bit quicker. Or came out earlier, actually. Again, with the 2HS counter hit. And here we go with the, the world from Takarin. This is going to do a lot of damage. 
Yeah, finally. Kumi Kumi forced to pop the burst. Ah, Lord. Here we go with blocks. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. And man, Takani, man. Good pressure right there from Takani, man. Yeah, just just happy to play the keep away game, man. Ah, okay, here we go. Consume. Ah, yeah. Uh, trying to yeah pop everything up from the book literally play everything up the, from the book yeah forces finally take to pop the burst one hit is all that's necessary for Takarin to win it oh lord he's got to jump it and here we go Takarin dire straights and still okay though Ooh! oh and he's got the hit it's not gonna be enough oh he tried to go for the grab Takarin, man, the defense of this man. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is so crazy, man. This is so crazy. Oh, no, he's got the opening. He's going to get the juggle. Not enough to kill. Oh, no. Not like this. Consume a little bit too late on his confirm right there for just for the wall break. That was so unfortunate. Nice grab from Takarin, man. Tried to make it seem like he was going to play the clock, but at the very end went for the grab. That set is hot. That set is freaking hot, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. Two to two for Takanin. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who's gonna end up taking it? We shall see. Takanin defending the uh, the honor of the Brojos. <laughs> Takanin, a very uh, long time uh, participant of the Brojo Cup. He's probably been the most consistent player in the Brojo Cup ever. So yeah, uh, that was a crazy. That's crazy, man. That match is freaking crazy. Again, here we go with the corner pressure. Oh no, no entire right there from Takarin, man. What's gonna happen? Oh no, no punish right there on that with 2 HS. The 2 with 2 S, I'm sorry. Ah, and here we go with the grab from Takarin. Perfectly content to keep Komekome Kome in the corner. Oh lord, that tick freaking that, that, that was so scary. Yeah, you could see Komekome Kome really struggling to get in right there. And again, man, with the tap throw, the tap dust. Oh lord, almost got the hit. Very nice air to air right there from Consume. Drops it, but it's still okay. Plays in his favor. Looks for the explosion too far to get anything off of it. No, it's fine. He's got the overhead, the overdrive. Oh, we're going to jump in. Oh lord. And the confirm off of the overhead sphere. Just like this, Kome Kome is on match. Set point, actually. Let's see how this spins out. Is Sakai going to be able to, to, to win this one? Let's see, Sakarin definitely needs to win this one. If he does, if he loses this one, he is sent in the loser's racket. Good Lord. This match is freaking hot. This is crazy. And the freaking aerial earthquake. You hate to see it. Ah, ah, ah. Nah, didn't make it in time. Still forced to respect the pressure of Kome Kome. Very nice use of the explosion, man. Ooh, and it is cube time. You have to hold it in just like this. Kome Kome sends Takarin in the loser's bracket. Three to two. That went down to the freaking wire. Good stuff. So no, it's, it's crazy, man. That that would Kome Kome is, is ridiculous. So good. Really, really crazy. Anyways, on to the next battle. Caffeine versus Roy. Let's see how this pans out. Caffeine, very strong Jackal player. Probably one of the favorites to take the tournament as well today. He makes a consistent top 8, so it definitely would not be surprising if he manages to make top 8 uh, in this tournament as well. We shall see, time will tell. Uh, that being said, uh, Roy is definitely no slouch. Uh, pro player, sponsor player, so extremely strong one at that. I'm definitely looking forward to see how he fares in this tournament as well. Very nice challenge right there from Roy. Manages to uh, keep capping off of him. Unfortunately, gets... Oh, Lord! And that freaking blue Roman cancel instant overhead combo from Caffeine that he absolutely loves. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Strong first performance uh, in that first round. Let's see if he manages to uh, keep it up and seal the deal. We shall see. Caffeine extremely strong. One of the strongest uh, Jacko in Japan currently. Uh, but there are, uh, there are a lot of good Jackal players in, in Japan, actually. You have Migu Migu, you have... Uh, uh, who else you have? Uh, you have so many ones. Uh, well, Caffeine, obviously. Hagiara, you have... Um, yeah, I said Migu Migu already. Uh, you have another one, which I forgot the name. Uh, the, yeah, there's so many good Jackal players. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Roy forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Ah, and the Bandit Revolver catching Caffeine out of the air, unfortunately for them. And here we go for some damage. Irani. 
Good stuff by Roy. Goes straight for the pressure, forcing Kefim to pop the wire C. Wow! Nice 2D counter hit right there from Caffeine. Ah, goes for a standing HS counter hit. Very nicely done. Ooh, Bended Bringer. Oh, unfortunately, went a little bit too deep. And Caffeine getting the kill with the fake cross up right there. Takes the first match very, very convincingly. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Here we go. Caffeine already. Oh no, getting hit by the 2S counter hit. Fortunately for them. Very nice use of the 4S right there from Rory to catch the back dash. Gets the grab. Again with the grab. Probably trying to condition Caffeine to. Ooh, wow, that was very, 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 very tricky. And Roy, man. Wow, going with all sorts of mixes right there. Gets hit by the 2HS counter hit though from Caffeine. And Caffeine taking this opportunity to get all three uh, minions on the screen. Putting them in super buffed mode. Forcing Roy to actually pop the burst. Gaffin almost got the... Uh, how do you say the... Um, uh, the the whiff punish there. That was so unfortunate. Gonna manage to get the wall break. Not enough to kill though. Roy can definitely bring it back. Well, bring it back. They both have no lives right now. I knew the vortex was gonna come. Very nice point. Uh, guard point right there from... Gaffin. Bane. Ooh, yeah, it's a shame. Ooh, got it by the two, by the four is counted. Nice stuff from Roy. Actually managed to bring it back, man. Forcing also Caffeine to uh, waste their burst, by the way. That was really, really sick, man. Good stuff from Roy. And here we go with the tick pressure from Caffeine. Gets the OTG. Try to go for the grab, but man, Roy reading it and just jumping out of it and landing straight on the recovery frames of Caffeine. Caffeine tried to bait that burst, but Roy holding on to it pretty uh, intelligently, so. And here we go, nice back dash right there from Caffeine right on D4S. Manages to uh, out uh, invincibility frame his 2S, his, his 4S. Anyways, Roy here with the corner positioning. Gets it by the 2K 2D, unfortunately. Wow, this time around manages to block the uh, instant overhead blue Roman cancel. Uh, uh, set up from caffeine very nicely done by Roy, but still uh, unfortunately for him uh, lost this uh, second round we're going on to the final round let's see if Roy can manage to deal with this onslaught that is caffeine's uh, kit in the corner with the oh lord no not that VP Roy a very nice abari right there from Roy ah gets the hit with the far HF this is gonna do oh lord careful there oh nice Nice guard point, and he gets the vortex. Is that gonna be enough? I don't think so. No, nah, not gonna be enough. I don't think so. Yeah, Roy resorting to keep his tension bar and get the hit with the bandit bring the bandit revolver. Good stuff from Roy. Puts one on the table. One to one. One of the board. One of the table. Oh, the table as well. I guess it works. Anyways, good stuff from Roy. Let's see how this pans out. So yeah, just for information. The current top 8 is gonna be uh, Nage, Eito, Takarin, Komekome, Kome, then we have Caffeine, Roy, and then Usuiburi and Amato. This is our top 8 right now. So next match is gonna be Usuiburi versus Amato, just for information. Anyway, there we go with the DP right into the block strings from Roy. Uh, ooh, that was an unfortunate uh, situation for Caffeine. Failed to get the juggle. Ah, and gets Bandit Bringer and Roy going very deep right there on his run. Manages to grab Caffeine. Unfortunately, Caffeine got out of the corner. Does that? Oh, Lord, a little bit too early on that guard point, though. But the, the, yeah, the, the, what's it called? The, uh, the idea was there. Oh, wow, that late freaking active frames from the guard point, though. Definitely saved the uh, Jacko's uh, fall down right there. Hitting the Vortex, I think, attempt. Uh, not the Vortex, but the whatever entire uh, Roy tried to go at that particular time. That being said, Roy with a very nice start of the of the second round. Look at the damage. Yay! Yay, Guilty Gear! <laughs> Good stuff from Roy. Wow, and the guard point man from Caffeine. Catching that bended revolver and getting the juggles. Goes for the cross-up. Try to go for the tap. Oh! Oh no, sorry, you don't! Driver, look at the damage! Good stuff from Caffeine. Oh! And gets hit by the Abari. Oh lord! And Roy, man, managing to bait that burst! 
Good awareness from Roy, man. Good stuff from him. Holy freaking lord. Let's see if Roy can seal the deal. Actually, no. The one who takes this one is going to take the lead. Definitely something that is desirable. Wow, that flash though. Oh, and no caffeine had the correct answer, had the correct idea. But yeah, the 2D uh, with too much recovery frame made it so that he could not only not punish the DP attempt, but also got punished on his recovery frame because the freaking DP of Sol recovers so damn fast. Anyways, that being said, caffeine does take the lead with the illusion driver. Very nicely done. Takes the lead 2 to 1. What is Roy going to do? We shall see in the coming minutes. Let us see. And on to the next battle. This is the third, the fourth match, actually. A nice start of the round from Roy manages to get that corner positioning. Unfortunately, gets it by the 2k 2d from Caffeine. Well, from, uh, yeah, from Caffeine. Oh, Lord, and again the 2d, unfortunately, for them, actually. Low profiles the uh, uh, low profile the uh, revolver right there from Roy, and Roy managed to uh, whiff punish it. Nice whiff punish on the bandit bringer, though. Ooh. Oh no, and the freaking, oh no, this is going to be a big punish from Roy with the optimization station. Then you reward a close S counter hit, and then this is death, yeah. Good stuff from Roy. Okay, definitely not out of this yet. And on to the second round. Nice with punish again from Caffeine, definitely 10 on 10 on this one. Oh lord. Bandit Briar Revolver indeed. Ooh! Nice guard point gets the grab. Oh, nice grab again from Taffy. Goes for the cross up, but this time around gets hit by the six feet. From Roy. Roy with the corner positioning. Who just needs one hit. Not enough. To kill, obviously. But still gets the wall break. There we go with the wall break. Ah, uh, Lord and Caffeine with the 2D catching the back dash attempt from Roy. Oh, nice tab dust right there. Tries to bait the burst from Roy. Unfortunately, drop to come. Ooh. Ooh, and a big DP right there. A hero DP if I might say. Nice. Nice Abari from Caffeine. Just using the, the the minion to finish their business. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Ooh, nice start of the round right there. No punish on the DP again. But nice punish on the bringer again. Ooh. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, that was a big far S counter hit from Roy. Roy hitting the guard point yet again. Wow. This is going to do a lot of damage. No burst to save you, sir. Ah, guilty gear. Good lord. Okay, and on to... Oh, no. Big 2S counter hit. This is definitely dead. Yeah, this is definitely dead. Bye-bye. Good lord. And Roy, man, puts another one on the board. We have a tie. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had... A lot of ties during this tournament, and we have another one of that. So let's see if Caffeine jumps straight to uh, the next the next battle, or if he might operate a character change. No, he does not. And all the more better. I love to see Caffeine's uh, Caffeine's um, uh, Jacko. So it's perfect. Anyways, here we go, man. Oh Lord, nice to that <laughs> that two D went far, very very far, and a big DP right into the block strings from. Uh, from Roy. Uh, Caffeine trying to push Roy in the corner. Very nice. This time around, punish. Very, wow, that was, that was a very delayed burst, and rightfully so. If he did not, he would have been adequately punished by Caffeine. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice guard point from Caffeine. Definitely looking out to, for them vortexes and punishing them adequately. This is going to kill. Yes, it is. Good stuff from Caffeine. Takes the lead, man. Just one, this is set point for Caffeine. Let's see if Roy can bring it back. We shall see Roy fighting for his tournament life right now. But Caffeine definitely does not want to give it to him for free and vice versa. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, big 6 HS counter hit right there. And, oh no, this is a very, very bad situation for Caffeine. First of all, the burst. Nice use of Dominion to hit. Roy on their way up. Uh, gets hit by the bringer counter. Hit. This is going to be a juggle. No uh, well splat though. And here we go with the low. Oh no. I think that was a uh, error right there. I think that Roy wanted to use the uh, Tyrant Rave. Okay. You can see Caffeine trying to bait that uh, YRC. Ah. And catches the bag dash with the close S. 
We are going down to the last round of the last match. Let's see how this pans out. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Oh, big bandit bring right there from Roy. Roy with the closest, the closest pressure again. Caffeine just content to just block right there. Does not want to yet get open just like this. And Roy finding the opening. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Good stuff from Roy. It's not over till it's over. Caffeine just needs one goal burst. And gets it by the closest and ends up losing it. Roy takes it. Okay, and here we go with the start of the match, and both players out of burst, and uh, with Amato with a slight, uh, with a pretty nice health lead. That being said, one opportunity is all that is necessary in this game, and just like this, look at this, this is booty with Roger, man. Roger literally on fire. This booty going with the jump, uh, jumping S, and is going to get the kill. Very nicely done by Usubari, gets the first round. Let's see if they can keep this up. We shall see. Ah, nice jump in by Usubari, unfortunately for them. Falls on the banana. Nice wake up a bar by Amato. Challenges the onslaught of Usubari. Ooh, wow. There we go with the ping pong from Amato, always on point. Thank you very much for the follow, Gandhi, and welcome to the Brojo. Always got to vote for the Faustberg, as you should. It's fine, it's fine, Mystic. Don't worry, I, I'm sure he's gonna forgive you. I I personally love uh, watching Faust gameplay as well. But I do have a sweet spot for uh, uh, Bridget as well, so... It's kind of a hard decision, not going to lie. That being uh, said, here we go with the jump in by Amato, trying to pin Usuburi down. Get the aerial grab and gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Amato. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle, this is the... Uh, Final round of this current match. Usuburi with the confirms right there. Catches the back dash attempt from Amato. Amato holding on to that... Uh, to, to, to them burst as well. Let's see. Oh, very nice. I think this is the uh, HS, if I'm correct. 5 HS. Anyways, here we go with the dive. Nice block by Usuburi. Gets the follow-up of the Rollerblades. With the jump start, my heart. If I'm correct. Nice. A uh, very nice juggle, and we should be able to take it with the Roman Cancel extension into the wall break. Very nicely done by Usuburi, takes the first match. That actually went uh, pretty... Uh, uh, it was. Uh, it could have gone either way, if I might say, but Usuburi prevails for this first match. Let's see if uh, Amato can shift the tides of battle, we shall see. And little Faust says he got... Oh! That was an unfortunate gold burst from Usuburi. I don't really understand what happened, but anyways, it happened. Okay, let's see how this pans out. This is a booty with the onslaught. Unfortunately, got them wigs lit on fire. And he goes for the grab, man. Ooh, that was a pretty heroic grab, if you ask me. Let's see how this pans out. And just like this, this is he takes the first round of the second match as well with Fire Roger. Let's see how this pans out. With motorcy Motorcycle Roger. And here we go with the wall break. The wall bounce, actually. Oh, okay, Gamato going for the jump. Gonna get the wall break. <clears throat> wow. Very nice. For HS and man, Usuburi getting hit by a ton of counter hits right there. Pressing one too many buttons. And Amato making good use of them. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice for HS. Gets the uh, juggle. The way it gets the, the, the conversion. Oh, and big DP right there from Usuburi. Definitely looking out for that mix, mix, mix from Amato. And here we go with the jumping D for the delayed overhead in order to open Amato up. Amato with the freaking 3k. Gets the entire end of juggle thanks to the wig. That juggle was sick. Good stuff from Amato. Wow. That was sick. And here we go with the 2HS counter hit. 
Gets the juggle. Gonna get the side switch. Oh no! Wow, I don't know if that was intentional, but that was a crazy... Uh, that would have been a crazy mix if it actually connected. And here we go with Roger for the kill. Good stuff from Musubuti. Takes the second match as well. It definitely... It does not look one-sided at all, but for... Uh, yeah, even even though it doesn't look one-sided at all, Usuburi is taking quite the, uh, the 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 lead right now. Amato definitely needs to probably shift a couple of uh, things in his current gameplay in order to secure uh, at least a win, at least you know to get the engine started. But yeah, Usuburi being very very solid, man, not giving that many opportunities for Amato. And Amato, even when he does find them, um, unfortunately uh, still cannot make it count enough for it to be a shift fighter, a shift uh, chain. A, a, a tight changer. <laughs> I don't know if that's English or not, but anyways, you catch my drift. Uh, that being said, here we go with the juggle in the corner. Wow, Amato using all sorts of Roman cancels right there. Trying to bait that burst and finally gets the uh, first round with a perfect nevertheless. These uh, small adjustments definitely played in his favor right now. Uh, he's gonna get the uh, meteorite, goes for the fake side switch using the scarecrow. Here we go to close S pressure. Mato holding on to their defense, gets the entire with the 3k. Oh, Gyusuburi forced, yeah, to stay in the corner, gets the opening with the Safari chest. Here we go with the grab. Suburi with that big 2d counter hit, man. Uses the yo-yo to keep the pressure going. Ah, gonna get the juggle. And gets the wall break with the fully powered a dust. Ooh, wow. Ah, somebody with the DP, man. Probably gonna have to. Yeah, it's gonna blow up because of the wig. Very nice pressure right there from Ah Amato. And yeah, unfortunately for him, he was on the verge of taking it. But yeah, the somebody just too freaking solid right there. So this is the set point. Amato definitely needs this one if he wants to stay in the tournament. If not, he will be eliminated. Let's see how this pans out. Here is the close S pressure. Tried to go for the command grab, but Usuburi was already on their way in the air, so uh, ungrabbable at that particular time. <clears throat> nice parquet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hammer time. <laughs> Good start from Amato. Oh, okay. Made it so that... Yeah. He made it so that he was going to cancel RC, but didn't. Probably expecting that Usuburi was looking... Oh, Lord, that DP, though. Very nice use of that. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. That's a, a lot of use of uh, the tension board. That being said, Amato still has another tension board coming up. Very nice little foul saving their father, and Amato going for the command grab. Just needs one more mix. What is going to be the mix? Oh, goes for the closest, and Amato finally, finally puts one on the board enough to get the engine started. Let's see if he can keep up the pace and eventually make a comeback we shall see that being said his opponent is definitely no slouch uh multi-time uh top three even managed to win past the duration of the uh, brojo cup as well so uh Usubri, definitely no slouch uh definitely do not count this man out uh no stranger to very dire situations uh, as well so yeah uh, it's gonna be a big very very uh big up battle for uh, for amato but we'll see we'll see it is not over till it's over anyways and anyways, here we go with uh, the corner pressure. And ah, uh, somebody with the king uh, jump start my heart. Counter it! Amato waking up with the DP, man! Holy freaking lord! Uh, not the DP, the uh, overdrive, sorry. Very nicely done. Nice. Ah, goes for the empty. Uh, the empty jump into the command grab twice in a row and gets the OTG for the kill. Amato, man, on oh, working on that uh, that comeback actually. Is he gonna be able to uh, to bring it? We shall see. Bring it back. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, Amato managing to get the conversion stage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage, man. Good stuff. Ah, nice to us from Usuburi got the counter hit. Was probably looking for that overdrive from Amato. Then back to the neutral. Amato does not want to overcommit. Oof. Nice 4K right there. 
Went for the teleportation, but ah, uh, should be able to get the juggle. Not enough to kill. Oh, so close, but yet so far. Oh, and gets the kill with the spear. Mata working on that comeback. Holy freaking lord! Blitz one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Two, uh, two matches apiece. Let's see who is going to take it. We shall see. Good lord, Lucy, buddy, man. Okay, Zamato gonna be able to do it. Gets the overhead, if I might say, the entire. Okay, no punish right there on the uh, jumpstart my part. Ah, nice juggle right there from Usubri, forcing Amato to pop the burst. Very nice jump in from Amato, forcing exactly the same thing. Okay, nice use of the spear right there, probably uh, noticing that Usubri loves to, um, loves to, uh, yeah, use 2S at a given range. There we go, close S. I'm at the forcing the RC from Musuburi. Gonna get the juggle. Oh, go straight into the overdrive, and this should actually kill. I'm at taking the lead. What the hell is going on? Good stuff from. Amato man taking the lead against none other than Usubuli. Are we gonna get an upset? This is crazy. But that being said, do not discount uh, Usubuli. Definitely no stranger to very, very harsh situation and stressful ones. Gonna get the wall break. Oh, and the follow up of the jump start. My heart catches the back dash of Amato. For the kill with a perfect, by the way. Let's see if uh, who this is the last round of the last match. This is the second time in a row, I think. I know the last one was actually only the last match, but still, let's see who is going to take it. Amato with the command grab, Try to go no, with the grab, another command grab. I lied. Went for you overhead. Oh, not enough to actually catch with the grab, but it's still okay. Little Faust here to save the day. Amato with the close S pressure gets the mix, mix, mix in. Oh, I think it's a hammer. Yes, it's a hammer. You have to respect it. Yes, the mix, mix, mix. Oh, he went for the side switch. Nah, not enough to get the... Yeah. Oh, that was sick. What is the Mato doing? Oh, no, he went with the quick cancel of the overdrive. It's not over till it's over. No, Amato, he let it rip. Again, Amato in the corner. Not looking very good right now. Little Faust is out. This is the time. This is the moment. No! And the air to air, that air to air was magnificent. And just like this, the Sibuli takes it by the skin of their teeth. No, I lied. It's not over. I lied. I completely lied. And now you Sibuli takes it with the tap freaking does. Kyono gameplay ga mo hontou ni eto arigatouzaimashita. And we are moving on to the next battle. It's gonna be Takarin versus Roy. Let's see how this pans out. I know, man, it's freaking crazy. The matches, I don't know what the players are doing. Maybe it's because of the Rashid hype that comes from Street Fighter 6 that makes it so that every single player in the world right now is super hype and wants to play at 100% and whatnot. But yeah, today's matches are really, really freaking hot. It's crazy. Anyways, it's probably the weather also because in Japan right now, it's very, very hot. Like, literally speaking, it is hot because of the summer. But anyways, that being said, very nice first round right there from Roy takes the first round. Let's see if he can uh, take the second one as well. Takarin definitely no stranger to the Sol matchup. Nice a bar right there from Takarin gets it by the DP though. Of course, Roy the DP master. Umehara Roy. <laughs> he loves them DP. Anyways, here we go. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, good lord. Sorry to get cold though. My AC, I put it a little bit too, too down. Okay, here we go. Here we go, the juggle from Roy should be able to get that wall break. Yes, he does with the fuck near. Exact opposite here in the Philippines. Raining all oh, really? Damn, that's unfortunate for you, bro. Have to come to Japan. And here we go with the wake up overdrive from Takarin. Not afraid, bro. <gasps> and the wake up force, are you serious? Takarin with the immediate wake up uh, burst did not want to have to deal with any sort of... Ooh, but yeah, all of them counter hits. No! And unfortunately for Takarin, gets hit by the far S counter hit. Very nicely done by Roy. Takes the first match, actually. Let's see if he can keep uh, this going and then shield the deal. By the way, for all of you guys who are not aware, there will be the closed uh, beta of Guilty... Not Guilty, of uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Rebirth, it's called. I forgot how it's called. But uh, the 
closed beta is happening this week on Mon on uh, well in Japan it's gonna be on Thursday but uh, abroad spe specifically in America I think it's on Wednesday like something like at night and then on on Wednesday in the morning and then on Thursday at night or something anyways just check the uh, the announcement and if you have the key don't forget to download the launcher today or not today tomorrow actually so yeah I got a key so I'm definitely looking forward to testing the game out I'm saying this because right now there's the soundtrack of Belzebub. Anyways, uh, that being said, here we go with the second match. And Roy trying to open up Takarin. Takarin, who is uh, currently in with the life lead with the freaking blocks, man. This bro, this dude, man, with the blocks. Very nicely done by Takarin. Let's see how this pans out. Rising, yeah. Rising is looking very, very mad good. I'm going to play this game pretty seriously, I think. I love the first uh, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, and fortunately for me, I was in Japan. So the thing that mainly killed this game was the, in my opinion, was the uh, the rollback. It was not the rollback, the lack of rollback, actually. So basically the netcode, and I absolutely, it, it didn't really affect me, like the first version of Grand Blue, because I'm in Japan. And in Japan, whether it's rollback or even delay, it's not really a problem, because most people have wired internet with fiber, so usually you can play it very, very easily with no hiccups. So that, that's the reason why I really played a lot of this game and I'm really looking forward to playing Rebirth as well. And I hope that Rebirth is uh, actually gonna gonna be a big hit so that people can actually play the game uh, now that it's going to have rollback. I'm really looking forward to people giving the, a shot with the game and uh, see how really good this game is actually. Grand Blue is not a complicated game either, so lots of you know newcomers can easily get into it and really appreciate it. The visuals are stunning, the characters are really, really, uh, uh, how do we say, they're really, really nice, you know, they're, they're like, um, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but the artwork, the, 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 the art direction is really, really well done, and I feel like uh, it's it really has an appeal, you know, a very, very specific appeal uh, that is present in usually in art arc system games, and I feel like uh, people really uh didn't have the opportunity to play uh, grand blue because of the netcode unfortunately yeah so now that the net the crossplay is coming crossplay and uh and also um and uh the rollback yeah it's definitely gonna be a, a very good opportunity for people to try it out but yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to the beta i'm definitely gonna be playing it that being said let's go back to the to the uh to the game very nice 6 speed right there from roy and tires tagging brings him into the corner goes for the grab See how this spins out. Very nice option like from Roy to catch the back dash of uh, Takarin and gets the kill with the Tyrant Raid. Good lord. Okay, so we have one match apiece and one round apiece. Who is going to take the uh the the um what's it called? The advantage, we shall see. Okay, Takarin getting the hidden, trying to keep Roy out. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer and Roy, man, out of range. Got hit by the 2K, though. A nice jump out right there. Takani finds the opening with the forest counter hit. Forcing Roy to pop the bird. Gets the Rainwater counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. Well, it's going to do okay damage, right? What is going to be the choice of Roy? We shall see. Ah, nice Rainwater yet again. Takani catching Roy, running towards him a little, one too many times. Gets the kill. Let's see if Roy can bring it back. We shall see. Good lord. Good lord. Okay, now on to the next battle. Wow. <laughs> Started around 6p, of course. Why not? Nice forest counter hit right there from Takani. Ah, and again with the count, the, the bended bringer. That was a little bit miss, uh, miss space. Oh! And Roy with the burst bait right there. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Look at this. Okay, no, not using the tension board, unfortunately. See how this pans out. Very nice punish right there on the standing uh, P of Takarin. Roy takes the first round of this fourth match. Let's see how this pans out. We go with the Lensengeki. Oh, Takarin just walking straight into the forest. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear, nah. <laughs> nice jump it from Roy. Unfortunately, gets hit by the 2K2K, 2D. Ah, man, and Takari not afraid to just run straight towards his opponent. This is one thing that not a lot of Axel player do, actually. And nice bandit bringer right there. I 
thinks uh, Rude didn't commit to anything. Yeah, that's the reason why Takarin actually uh, decided to Roman cancel straight away. Ah, and the uh, bandit revolver getting uh, stuffed by the uh, by the far S. And just like this, we're on set point. Let's see if Roy can bring it back. He forces Takarin to pop the burst. Almost got the punish right there with the oh the bandit revolver. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, ah, Roy's. Bagdash getting stuffed by the 2HS man. It's been. Oh, Lord, and the Bandit Revolver! Too far! Ooh, wow. We almost got hit right there. Ooh, let's see. Nice juggle right there. Is it gonna be enough? Damn it. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be enough. That was crazy. That amount of damage though. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, man. Bandit Bringer for the kill, unfortunately, for. Uh, Takagi did not uh, put his faultless defense in time in order not to get chip killed. And just like this, man, Roy bringing it back. Two to two. Is this going down to the wire as well? <laughs> That's the case. The tournament is going to last a very long time, which is not a bad thing, if you ask me. Here we go. The delayed bandit bringer trying to catch Takarin. And here we go with the pressure in the corner. The one home. Oh, very nice swap throw. Tried to put... Well, putting Takani back in the corner. See how this pans out. Ah, nice 2HS right there from Takani. For the entire goes for the, the world. For the corner carry. And here he goes. He's going to get the positive bonus. Ah, uh, deciding to keep Roy in the corner, by the way. He might live to regret it, though. And here we go, the low. And this is death right Oh, no, it's not. It's actually not, but it's okay. Roy gets the kill with the grab. This is set point. Is Takagi going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Wow. Very nice conversion station right there from Takagi. Goes for the Lin Sengeki. See how this pans out. Ooh. Okay. And Roy with the closest. Ah, nice take. Pressure, not take pressure. That's challenge right there from Takagi. Again with the 2HS, man. Been working wonders, doing wonders right there for him. Wow, Roy going in deep, man. Goes for the extension station. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Ah. <laughs> Just like this, they are both equal, almost equal in uh, health. Very nice rainwater. From Takarin, caught the uh, bandit revolver. Goes for the midi Lensengeki. Wow, what a grab. What a grab from Takarin. And just like this, we are going down <laughs> to the last round of the last match. We wouldn't have it any other way. Who is going to take it? Very nice uh, uh, challenge right there from Takani. Ah, I guess it by the Bandit Bringer though. Back in the corner. Again with the far S. Nice blocks. Wow! No, couldn't quite get the... Oh no, he's got the bait on the burst. This is bad for Takani. Straight into the Tyrant Rave. And it's going to kill. <gasps> and just like this, Roy eliminates Takani. 3-2, to two, man. Holy freaking... We'll be right back. And here we go with uh, the next matchup. It's over Scissor Subli, both very strong players with their respective characters. Subli tend to have a um, little bit of an edge when it comes to our overall results. But Ito has been playing out of his mind in today's tournament, so it wouldn't surprise me if we see a couple of us upsets uh, if he's on the screen. So we'll see how this pans out. Anyways, uh, first round did go to Subli. Very nice center from Musubri. Almost got the the juggle. That being said, yeah, never discounted it. Oh, oh wow, that back dash from the Sukiyaki though. Okay. Yay! Ooh, finally it manages to close the gap. Unfortunately, committed to. Wow, what a freaking setup! What a setup for the side switch. That was sick. Good lord! And the character knowledge, man, this is crazy. Subaru, no slouch, man. Definitely a hard worker when it comes to training mode. 
And wow, somebody with the DP, man. Gets the hit, confirm, and the kill. Good stuff from Musaburi takes the first uh, match. Let's see if it's okay can manage to adjust, man. That side switch was crazy. Good lord. Then on to the next battle. Very nice forest right there from it. Oh, gets grabbed, unfortunately. <laughs> and here we go. You have to respect the pressure. <laughs> and unless you have a DP. <laughs> Good stuff from it, though. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh. Sukiyaki Banzai. Ooh, nice jump in right there from Musubori. And here we go to close up pressure. Um, so we're trying to go for a grab, got adequately ticked by Eto. Eto going for the fake cross, uh, for the fake overhead. This time around goes for the overhead, goes for another overhead, but nicely blocked by Yusubuti. Here we go with Roger in the house, y'all. Ow! And here we go with the juggle for the kill. Nice stuff from Musubuti. Takes the first round of this. Take a match as well. Okay, nice empty low right there from Eto. Gets the jump in. Forces Musubuti to pop the burst. And here we go with the 2S. Ah, and the wake up from Eto again, man. Ah, Eto got oh, getting, uh, getting the opening, but didn't uh, didn't really believe in it, I think, I guess. Goes for the low, the low. The Gamma Blade and the counter, the, the, the overhead. Nice grab from Ito, definitely feeling himself right there, goes for the Quake. Wow, that set up into directly the uh, overhead is very cheeky, very nicely done by Ito. Let's see how this fans out. Okay, nice blocks. Oh lord! Ito getting opened up right there. The, mo the hero is out. Ah, nice aerial grab right there, that was crazy. Woo, and Utsuburi with the bait on the burst. That was sick. Ah, oh, drops the combo though, but still works out in his favor. Because it manages to turn that, uh, that, uh, that failed punish into a, uh, shimmy. For an actual counter hit punish. Which was really, really nicely done by Utsuburi. Takes the lead 2 to 0. Is Eto gonna be able to, uh, shift the tide of battle? We shall see. Hmm. <clears throat> Back to the neutral. Very nice 6p from Eto. Ah, runs straight into the 2k 2d of Usuguri. Very nice use of the jumping D right there. For the D. Oh lord, what a what a burst. I thought it was gonna whiffle. Here we go with the pressure. Very nice of bar from Usuguri. Sukiyaki indeed. Ah, and again with the wake up DP man. Oh, nice burst timing right there from Usuguri. Managed to make it so that it was cornered. Ah, nice overhead. And Eto will not get the kill there. He's gonna get the wall break though. Wow. Oh, that's 6p though. Wow, I went for the quick BRC. Very nicely done by Eto. Nice, but unfortunately for him. Ah, not enough to kill. Okay. I would have thought it would have. Ah, that's the beat out. And just like this, Eto, man, takes the first round. Takes his first round. Okay, nicely done. Let's see how this fans up. Yeah, Usubri didn't have enough uh, tension bar in order to make uh, it safe on block, unfortunately for him. That being said, Usubri finding the opening, forcing it to pop the burst, gets the 6p entire into the juggle, into kick my jump start my, my my heart, jump kick my my start. <laughs> or is it kick start my heart? No, jump jump start my heart. I think it is. Anyways. Very, oh, that perfect from Musubiri, man. Playing on point. Just like this, we are on set point. Let's see if this pans out. If the curse of the uh, last round, last match is finally going to be uh, is going to be broken. We shall see. Oh, Lord, and the DP has been baited. No side switch, though, but it's still okay. Here we go with the setup. Musubiri going for the grab. Oh, nice bar over there from it. Oh, finds the opening. Oof. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice for us. Ah, Lord almost got the punish, but yeah, Usubuti uh, anticipating that it was going for a punish right there. Use the Roman cancel in order to make it safe. And we are in chip hell right now. Ito trying. Ooh, ah, that was an unfortunately time uh, grab, unfortunately for him. Ooh, and the golden burst has been baited, and just like this, man. 
Let's see, buddy, with the kill, three to nil. Winners final. It's gonna be none other than Nage versus Kome Kome. Let's see who is going to make their way to the grand final. We shall see in a couple of minutes. And on we go. This is the first round. Nage with the uh, command grab gets the afro on Asuka, and here we go with the opening. Kome Kome holding on to their uh, to their burst. Again, Nage man with the harassing, the harassment dive man. Ah, it goes straight into the overdrive man. What is the animation for the overdrive for this one? <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> That was pretty fun. Anyways, here we go with the uh, hard knockdown and Nage faking the grab with a whiffed uh, standing P and then goes for the grab. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. And good lord. Okay, coming, coming with the uh, juggle. Ah, finally not forcing Nage to get pop the burst. Okay, Kome Kome grabbing that much needed trumpet to force Nage on the on the on the Wow, that that freaking that freaking uh, block on the overhead was really crazy good. Anyways, Kome Kome with immediately the uh, what's it called the um uh with the uh, overdrive for the kill and we have one round of peace, holy freaking lord. The rounds are actually going pretty pretty quick. Okay, finally Kome Kome. Uh, getting that knockdown gets the oh the juggle using the earthquake gonna get the wall break yes he will Kome Kome man holy freaking lord optimization station not much damage but still gets the uh, advantage with the uh, positive bonus uh, very nice run forward into the uh, into instant block Actually managed to punish the spear thanks to it. Okay, uh, nice jump in from Nugget. Gonna benefit from the bananas. Goes for the command grab. Oh, he tried to go for the fake cross up. Very nice six p from Kome Kome. Oh lord. And yeah, Kome Kome forced him. Yeah, to block. Got oh, got hit by the freaking side switch. Ah, uh, nice. And still, Nage going for the freaking command grab. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad for Kome Kome, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, man, yeah, Kome Kome getting hit by the quick dust. Very nicely done by Nage Nage. By Nage Nage. <laughs> by Nage Nage, yeah. Very nicely done by Nage. <laughs> Gets the first match. Very nicely done. Damn, that was crazy. Let's see how this pans out, how the second round will pan out. Yeah, Nage definitely wants to stick close to Asuka, not give him time to build his deck or, you know, send, uh, yeah, to to build mana either. Let's see how this pans out. Nicely done. And... Yeah. Nage, again, trying to close the gap, unfortunately. Uh, gets his mix, mix, mix blocked, unblocked, forced to pop the burst. And little Faust is out. Ah, nice sweep right there from Nage. Got the trumpet, forcing Kome Kome to uh, respect the onslaught. Oh lord, and the super cubes are out. Oh no, unfortunately, yeah, Kome Kome couldn't quite get the juggle. Ah, gets opened by the sweep. I think it's not gonna hit. Yeah, it's not. Ooh, wow. Almost got the punish there. That's a bar from Kome Kome. Oh, and gets the kill with the OTG. Very nicely done. Wow. And here we go with the pressure. Ah, uh, Kome Kome not. Yeah. Being very passive right now, content to just block. Oh lord, again with the command grab. Good stuff from Kome Kome. From, uh, from Nage. Got the corner positioning. And here we go with the overdrive. <laughs> okay. Very nice of bar right there from Kome Kome. It gets the knockdown. And the explosion, very nice use of the cube right there, forcing 
Now I get to respect. Ah, oh, the onslaught. And that was an unfortunate burst from Komei Komei, man. Nage with the win on the second round as well. Let's see how this spins out. Nice for us. Ah, and again with the spear. Hitting Komei Komei, man. Oh, wow, that wake up DP, though. Okay, yeah. Ah, Komei Komei does not have his... Does not have any shield anymore. This is going to spell death. No, it's not. Not yet. Oh, very nice Abare. He almost got the juggle. Let's see how this spins out. Kome Kome still has to respect it. Ooh. Ah, Lord. Nice grab from Kome Kome. That gutsy grab. Woo. Catching the back dash, I guess. Oh, here we go. The explosion and the overhead. Still a little bit shy of uh, getting the kill, though. Yeah, Kome Kome going straight for the... Uh, for the overdrive, catches the back dash with the cube. Oh no, not like this, and gets hit by the freaking dive. Nage taking the lead, a pretty good one at that, 2-1, to 2-0, to sorry. Nage on the verge of making himself, uh, on making his way to the grand final. I'm gonna go with the counter hit from Kome Kome. Ah, uh, no one's right there. Ooh. Ah, that is, ah, free. Very nice command grab from Nage. Ooh, that's 6 speed though. Here we go with the cubes. Kome Kome trying to get something starting, but yeah. Nage just not, not giving him any type of leeway. Goes for the... Oh, ah, again, man, the freaking... Ah, the layers. The layers are here, man. Go with the weight. Yeah, Kome Kome has to hold it. Ah, again with the mix, mix, mix. Roman cancel to make it safe. Wah, force the burst. Very nice 6 speed though from Kome Kome. Not out of this yet. He did bet everything on his on on uh, his mana. Ah, damn it. Oh, and the Roman cancel to side switch and not get hit by the 6 speed. Nage on set point. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, uh, no punish right there on the mix, 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 the block, mix, 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 unfortunately. Very nice. Explosion. No punish on the jump in. Yeah, this, yeah, this color is really good. Not gonna lie. King Darrow, indeed. Ah, uh, here we go, the close, uh, the close pressure. And the Abari from Kome Kome, from, uh, from Nage. Oh, Lord. Ah, the pressure is real. Nage with the command grab on the verge of getting and getting it, man. Nage taking it a clean three to nail against Kome Kome. That out of the order. It's so crazy, man. Relentless, man. It's relentless. He has layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. That being said, we are right now heading towards the loser semi-finale. Let's see how this pans out. It's going to be Usubiri versus Roy, and they haven't... And their, their name is actually not in the right side. The right side, fortunately for me. So this is Usubuli. And this is Roy. One second, please. Okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, so, let's see who is going to take it. Wow, Usubuli with the Roger juggle right there. Not afraid of the wake up DP. Oh, again with Roger. Is he gonna get the juggle? No, he's not. And oh, the big vortex catches the back jump from Usubiri into the corner. I tries to go for a grab, but Usubiri reading it just jumps out and lands right on top of Roy. Takes the first round. Getting on to the second round. With the far chest on the lock. Usubiri with the somersault. Love how Saul and Bridget now have special intros up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is pretty nice. And uh, no anti right there. A little bit too far for it, but nice 6 speed right there from Musubiri. Gonna get a pretty nice juggle, by the way. Whew. Oh, Musubiri getting hit by the 2S. Right into the uh, Volcanic Viper. Uh, that was a very nice grab from Musubiri. Goes for the safe yo-yo setup. 
Clutch for the Golden Burst, man. You could see Roy hesitating to actually wake up DP on that particular uh, that that particular exchange. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, yeah, both opponents with oh no, and Roy finding the opening with the, the revolver counter hit. And on to the next battle. Wow, very nice six A S right there from Roy. Gets the counter hit again with the forest counter hit. He's gonna do a lot of damage. What is this Subiri gonna do? Tyrant Rafe! Oh, Kidoki, we're gonna jump in. Ooh, ah! Uh, Subiri with the 2 HS counter hit, though. Okay, okay, it's not over. It's not over. Ah, drops it, though, but it's okay. Catches the back dash with the close S again with the counter hit, man. Roy with the one too many counter hits for him. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, the jump in! Yeah, his grab for him. Roy manages to get the first match of this set. Let's see if Usubiri can find. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Usubiri can find a uh, yeah a uh, a solution to this problem. We shall see. Oh, nice bag dash right there from uh, from Roy from uh, Usubiri. And big 2 HS counter hit right there from Usubiri. Fades the burst. Good stuff from Musubiri. Ah, here we go with the Bandit Bringer. Wake up DP from Musubiri. Oh, and gonna get the extension station. Not for the kill, though. Nah, not gonna be enough. But still. Here we go with the wall break. <laughs> Very nice MT low. MT jump into the... Uh, Ah, uh, his day's gonna kill! It actually... Nah, it's not, it's not, okay. Good stuff from uh, Usubri for not... Uh, for not giving in to pressure. I don't know why! I did not work! Ah, man! And Roy, man, just sticking to Usubri like glue. That was sick, good stuff from, uh, from Roy, man. Nice prediction. Ooh, big 6 S counter hit, again. Again, here we go with ooh, ah, the big ball, the the big uh, vortex. Ooh, ah, that did a lot of damage. What? Wake up, freaking dust! That was sick. What the hell was that? Wake up, fully powered dust. I have no idea what his thought trail was, but it worked perfectly. Ah, no DP right there. That was unfortunately for Subiri. And here we go, the juggle, and Roy should be able to take it, actually, or not. Not quite enough. <laughs> Roy with them Kai, Kai takes right there. Wah! Oh, and again with the Vortex, man. This has been the bane of Usubri, man. The jump backs uh, into Vortex. Yeah, getting hit by the Vortex on his jump back must not feel very good for him. Anyways, we are on potentially the last match of this screen set. We shall see. Nice punish on the Vortex. Oh, the on the Bringer, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, and here we go. The Juggle. Roy with the corner the, the corner positioning and gonna get the kill. Roy on match point. Good lord. Who's gonna stop him? We shall see. Ah, nice punish right there on the bended uh, revolver. Again with the vortex, man. It's been working very good for uh, for Roy, man. Ah, catches the bag dash with the the for the sending S. Yes. And here we go. Nice damage. Could uh, could have done a little bit more, but uh, that's fine. A okay, nice trade right there for well for Roy. And nice grab right there on the vortex. Wow. Ah, oh. Roy will not sit down. You will not condition him to uh, who manages to win this one. Will have the privilege of fighting Nage in grand final. Let's see who out of Asuka, the man, the the, the man, versus uh, none other than uh, Saul Bad Guy is going to fight Faust in grand final. We shall see. Start of the round with the Bandit Bringer from Roy. Let's see how this pans out and look at the pressure ahead. So. Roy just content to, to press that close S, man. And here we go with the grab. Yeah, man, Kome Kome has been blocking for the past freaking five minutes or so. Okay, here we go with the freaking high-low pressure. Yeah, 
Roy with the wall break. And actually, Kome Kome in with no shield. This is looking actually pretty bad. See how this spins out. Okay, finally, Kome Kome getting something started. Goes for the, for the uh, overhead sphere. Wow, good stuff from Kome Kome, man. Damn. See how this spins it out. Nice block on the... Oh, no, that was a bad YRC. And gets the conversion, man. That was sick. Good stuff from Roy. Gets the first round. And on to the second round. We're going to take pressure. Kome Kome, man. Ooh, ah, having to respect it. Let's see how this spins it out. Ooh, ah, big vortex. Nice blocks from Kome Kome. Again with the take pressure, man. Kome Kome going straight for the DP uh, option right there to get Roy off of his back. Nice Abari from Kome Kome. Again, man, the tick pressure is real. <laughs> That's standing S, man. So funny. Anyway, here we go, the juggle. Gets the explosion. Ah, two explosions in a row. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. Ah, again, man, gets hit by the forest counter hit. Is that gonna kill? He doesn't have any shield anymore. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Good stuff from Roy gets the first match. Very nicely done. Ah, damn, that damage, man. Freaking lord. The first match goes to Roy. Is Roy going to make his way to the grand final? Roy definitely looking pretty good this time around. Again with the closest, man. Kome, Kome, man. Just hunting to, to like, not commit to any answer to this problem right there. Gets opened by the high-low. Tries to jump out of the corner, but man, Roy just sticking to him like glue. Again, man. Good luck. Finally, the bar from Kome Kome. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It is crazy. That's what happens when you give uh, plus frames on a, 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 a move that that is far-reaching and that all, also moves you forward. I still don't understand the, the logic behind this. Anyways, it is what it is. And the first round of the second match goes to Roy. Let's see if he can keep this up. Gets the grab. Gets the grab with the empty jump. Okay, let's see. And we are back in S land. How are you doing, S? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, very nice. Oh, my lord. And wake up, S, of course, from Roy. <laughs> Oh, nice explosion right there. Tries to keep the pressure. Gets the overhead. And here we go. The explosion, but unfortunately went right through the uh, invincibility frames of Roy. Okay, Kome Kome is looking a lot more alive this time around. Goes for the overdrive. Guaranteed overhead. Uh, given guaranteed pressure. <gasps> and the wake up DP. But it still look is not over. Ooh, and no. Kome Kome unfortunately mixed himself up right there. Good stuff from Roy, not losing uh, clarity uh, from the current situation. Managed to seal the deal. Again with the forest. Wow. Oof. Kome Kome forced to pop the burst. Here we go with the juggle. Ah, Kome Kome getting the juggle. Very nicely done. Even get the... Yeah, he got the burst. Very nicely done. And here we go with the overdrive. Consumer, don't do the same mistake. Oh, there you go. Wow, went with everything in the boat. Holy freaking load. And here we go, the 2D counter hit. The, the 2D, uh... The 2D into the Roman cancel for the kill. Very nicely done by Komi. Wow. That is pretty far reaching. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the extension station of Roy. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Good lord. And just like this, man, Roy, man, brings it back. Set points. Good lord, the damage, man. That was crazy. Well, of course, yeah, I know that. I know that Asuka has zero health, like literally the worst health and the worst, uh, the worst, uh, what's called, guts in the game when he doesn't have his, uh, his armor, but holy freaking lord, man. Okay. Oh, here we go, the explosion. Come in, come in. Try to get the juggle. 
I went straight for the uh, the the, the um, tap dust. And here we go with the overdrive. Can we come in not out of this yet? Oh, very nice to D. Managed to find the opening. Woo. And here we go with the corner pressure. Very nice tick. Uh, from Kome Kome gets grabbed, unfortunately. Ah, Sokka. Kome Kome is currently in the... Oh, uh, no. Not like this. Try to go for the... Uh, oh, Okay, nice for RC. And gets the kill on the recovery of the standing K. Okay. Kome Kome finally getting one on the board. That was really close. Everyone be free of your Discord. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, I should have said this. Asuka apparently does not like Discord. Anyways, on to the next battle. Let's see uh, if Kome Kome will be able to get this uh, comeback or if Roy will be able to seal the deal. Very nice and Nikki gets the juggle. Forcing Kome Kome to pop the birds. Nice side switch 6x. That was pretty good. And here we go with the S. Uh, hell. Yes, opened by the overhead. And finally forced to pop the burst. Okay, Kome Kome gets the side switch. Should be able to get the wall break. Gets the wall break. And here we go. Kome Kome again with the overdrive, man. Making a comeback, actually. Damn. Are we going on to the last match of the la last round of the last match? We shall see. Oh, very nice use of the aerial earthquake. Oh, bandit revolver indeed, but Kome Kome with the punish. Ooh, kind of quite punish DP though. Again, man, with the aerial earthquake, has been working a lot in his favor. Nice. Not enough to kill. Kome Kome getting hit by the wake up DP though. Here we go to Bandit Bringer. And started around with the Super Cube. Kome Kome definitely did want to secure that second uh, point of his. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going on to the last round of the last match? We shall see. And Roy sticking to his guns. Let's see how this pans out. Nice grab from Kome Kome. Okay, Kome Kome with the juggle. Almost got the punish on the bringer though. Wow. And here we go with the juggle. Gonna get the overdrive. I thought it was gonna be too far, but it was enough. Very nicely done by Kome Kome. Woo. Oh, catches the back dash. And gets it by D6. Kome Kome bringing it back. Good lord. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, here we go with the knockdown. Kome looking pretty good. Wow, getting the overhead. Oh. Nice grab for Mori. Gets the opening. I try to go for another grab. Ah, uh, that close pressure though. Okay, gets the. Oh lord, went for the freaking overhead. Ah, nice bandit bringer counter hit. Or should be able to get. Ooh, ah, this is looking bad for Kome Kome. Probably committing to not using his burst and keeping it for the next battle, I guess. Wake up overdrive. Or not. Oof. Ah, you can see Kome Kome trying to fish for them burst attempts. Ooh, that was an unfortunate wake up grab, a wake up burst though. And Roy taking the freaking round with the grab. We are getting the, the final round of the final match yet again. 
Okay, here we go, the bandit. Oh, nice a bar from Kome Kome. Almost got the juggle. Here we go, the mix. Ah, Kome Kome. Ah, and it's back to Guess Land. Nice take right there from Kome Kome. Ah, 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 ah. Wow, that's 6 speed though. I oh, guess the opening, man. Let's see. Wow, nice 6 speed, man. Kome Kome on point. No punish on the bringer. Well, pretty hard to punish from that angle. Ah, nice take. Oh, I guess the hit with the explosion. Went for the freaking earthquake as well. And unfortunately for Kome, Kome gets opened by the close S counter hit. Roy makes his way to the grand finals. Holy freaking. Oh. Final match of today's tournament. It has been a blast. Please enjoy this freaking match. Nage versus Roy. Itema show. Let's go right away. And start of the round. I kind of want a different music for this one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And here we go with the tick pressure in the corner. Okay, here we go. Roy finding Dragon first. Blood gonna get the juggle. What did Roy eat today? He's playing so good. <laughs> okay, nice blocks right there on the overhead attempt. Was for the gun flame. Ah, nice use right there of the ping pong. Can I get with? Oh, Lord, the safe jump. And the freaking side switch. It's not over till it's over, man. If anybody can make a comeback, it definitely is Nage. Uh, ah, this is looking pretty bad. Oh, nice blocks. Ah, Lord. Nage on the bridge of taking it back, man. Oh, Lord. Nage won't let him, man. He won't. Oh, and the forest, man, for the kill. Forest, my love. <laughs> Good stuff from Roy. Gets the first round. Ah, that's 6P though. Roy definitely on point right there on the spear punish. Ah, forcing Nagi to pop the burst. Very nice with punish right there with the 6 HS. Let me get the bandit revolver extension station. Got the bandit bringer for the wall break. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Nice super right there from Nagi. And Roy, oh, getting grabbed, unfortunately, for him. Wow, that wake up DP, man, went so far. And Nage getting hit by his own bomb. Roy takes the freaking first match, though. What is going on? Roy is playing so good, man. It's crazy. Lord, holy freaking Lord. Good stuff from, uh, from Roy. Takes the first match. And here we go with the Abari from Nage. Manages to uh, get the momentum back, forcing Roy to pop the burst. Gets the jump in right there. Well, the dive, actually. Oh, Lord. Here we go with Nage. Locking the Vortex. In some pretty nice damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, it lands right on his banana, which kind of killed his, killed his momentum. <laughs> and here we go with Roy and the Fafnir for the wall break. Oh lord, that side switch, but Roy was already aware of it. Went straight to the standing kit. Didn't matter, didn't care. Good stuff from Roy. Damn, taking the first round of the second match as well. Roy definitely on point today. Start of the round with the bandit revolver counter hit. Gets a juggle in the corner with a wall break. Lord, already half of your health is gone. I think Nagi is trying to judge the situation, see exactly how he's supposed to, to handle Roy right now. What route is the best? Maybe aggressive, offensive, um, like passive. I think, yeah, lots of like thoughts are going through Nagi's head right now. Oh no, and not the best ones. <laughs> Damn, Roy already up to the zero. Are you serious? Damn. Okay. 
Let's see what Nage is going to do. That is crazy, man. Are we going to get a reset? It certainly looks like it. And here we go to the forest. Finally, Nage. Oh, Lord. Okay, getting two uh, decent hits in a row. Got the burst as well. Pretty hard to... Pretty hard to... Close the gap when your opponent is Nage. Yeah, it definitely is. Nice a bar from Nage. There's the corner carry. Oof. And here we go with Roy really trying to close the gap so he can do his uh, up down mix with the bandit revolver. And here we go with the volcanic viper. And Roy is going to take this one as well. Roy on the verge of a bracket reset. What the hell is going on? Good lord. <laughs> and Nagi finally waking up a bit right there. Finally managing to get that mix, mix, mix. If he gets the forest. Oh, gonna get the wall bounce as well. Nice, decent damage right there. Yeah. Roy probably wanting to hold on to their. Hold on to their. Um, their burst just in case for the next round which is definitely commandable yeah yeah, yeah this is going next round good stuff from Nage and on to the next battle start of the round with the bandit revolver counter hit okay Nage definitely more keen on trying to be as aggressive as possible right now Ah, with the forest, man. Try catching the backdash, actually. Oh, yeah. And Roy trying to go for the air to air grab, but Nage was ready. Here we go with the overdrive. Things are looking pretty good for Nage, but Roy also is definitely not too bad right now in terms of, uh, of positioning. As in, not positioning, in terms of. Uh, after in the matches one. That being said, he does need to win like two sets in a row, so it doesn't really matter that much. Since Nage still has like one more set to adapt and to change his his uh, strategy in order to bring it back. Ah, ah here we're going to grab. Is it gonna be enough? Nope, not enough to get the RC. Ah, nice confirm right there from... Yeah, Nage definitely won. Oh, Nage going for the grab. Regular grab for the kill. Okay, Nage putting one on the board. Definitely not out of this yet. Have we witnessed the shift of momentum right there? We shall see. And here we go with the dive, forcing Roy to pop the burst. Ah, nice with punish right there on the golden burst. Oof. And Roy on point with every single one of their punishes, man. It's crazy. Here we go, the grab. Okay, and back to the neutral. Nage taking light landing and giving solid freaking awesome haircut here we go uh, the pressure is real that being said now you did light that wig up forcing uh roy back on back on earth basically back on the floor and just like this roy is on uh set point but on reset point actually Oh, nice delayed follow-up of the revolver to catch Snage, man, on counter hit. Also forcing him to pop the burst, which is actually pretty bad right now. Can okay, here we go with the forest. Ah, the corner pressure is real. Nage fighting not to get resetted. And here we go with ah, the slide vortex right there into big damage. Not enough for one bar, though. Let's see how this spins out. And yeah, Nagi trying to work on that comeback, but ooh. Wow, very ooh wow. That was pretty good. 
Ah, uh, both trying to get that banana. <laughs> trying to get ever so slightly more health back. Ooh! Now he almost had it there. Oh, but gets hit by the forest. And Troy with the four HS for the takes freaking win. This match takes the whole tournament. And here we go. See how this spins out. Ah, Nagi with the tick throw. Manages to get the grab. Goes for another grab this time. A command one. Playing on the fact that the meteorites were about to fall. And therefore, uh, assuming that Roy was going to uh, block and not do anything. Which was the correct uh, read, obviously. And here we go with again the wig. Ooh, ah, Roy with the delayed freaking uh, dragon punch, man. Oh, again, here we go with the slap. Forcing Roy to pop the burst. Wow, and the bait on the golden burst. Not gonna be enough to kill, though. It's gonna be decent damage, but a little bit shy from actually killing. And rightfully so. <laughs> okay, let's see how this spins out. Ah, nice 6 p right there on the... Um, on the far, forest, I think. First round goes to Roy. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, here we go with the blocks. Very nice vortex right there from Roy. Gonna get a pretty nice corner carry with decent damage. Goes for the low. Gonna get the wall break. Wow. Here we go with the fart game, man. Wow, that air to air, though. Okay, nice use of the URC of Nage. Probably wants to get out of harm's way. And Nage hitting, hitting the... Uh, the Hitting the uh, the gun flame, unfortunately for him, and just like this man, Roy taking the freaking lead. Is Roy going to take it? That would be crazy awesome. Holy freaking Roy! Okay, let's see, let's see. That would be the first win of Roy also in the tournament, I think, in uh, the Broadway Cup, if I'm not mistaken. There you go, Roy already forcing Nagi to pop the burst. And here we go, the Bandit Revolver, man. The pressure's real. Big forest right there from Nage, not Nage from Roy. Gonna get the wall break. And here with the positive bonus. Wow, and Roy, man. Roy on point, man. Is he gonna be up 2 0 already? That is great, Gray. Very nice with punish right there using the forest. Here we go with the gun flame and the side switch. Whew. Okay, and Roy finding the opening with the bandit bringer. Oh, get the four, the four S, the four six S, not the six H S, the six S. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Again with the trades. Wow, finally. The entire Faust working. That's unusual. And Roy getting it with the Bandit Revolver Extension Station. Man, Roy takes a freaking... A pretty nice lead, not gonna lie. What is Nagi gonna do? Down 2-0. He needs three matches in a row. If he wants to win this tournament. This is looking pretty dire for Nage. Not gonna lie. What is he gonna do? Okay, let's see. Very nice forest counter right there, forcing like it's above the burst. <laughs> and just let it rip with Roy, man. Very nicely done. Oh. Again with the forest counter hit, man. Uh, using the vortex cube to have the corner positioning. And they get the wall break too. Uh, they decided to decided to keep their bar potentially for future Roman cancel, I suppose. Very nice, just blocked, man. What the hell? Oh lord! Oof! 
And just like this, Roy is on tournament points. What is Nagi gonna do? Wow, the big close, the big forest counter hit, man. Immediately forcing Nagi to pop the burst. Again, man, the... Ah, uh, this is so... Hard. Uh, oh, again with this DP, man. If you try to, like, tick pressure... <laughs> Roy, he's definitely gonna pop the, 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 um, the DP eventually, sooner or later. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Roy doesn't like to block in this game. Okay, anyways. Ah, oh, didn't get the juggle, but it's still fine. Goes for the cool says the far exactly. Ah, oh, Lord. Roy on the verge of getting it. Gets hit by the mix, 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 though. Again with the mix, mix, mix. Oh, Lord. Almost got the mix, mix, mix there as well. Goes for the tap. The tap. Oh, no. He dropped it. Oh, and he goes for the Lord just like this. Roy with the reverse 6-0, man.